You are watching something really special. It is the Atlantic Showdown for the Overwatch Contenders Playoffs. What we've done is we've taken our two champions from across the pond. We have our European champions, British Hurricane, and they're going to face off against our North American champions, Fusion University, so that we can decide once and for all, or at least until season two, who the better region is. My name is Sam, I'm also known as Tech Girl, and joining me on the desk to, to dissect both these teams, I have Trid and Jameson. I have to get this out of the way right now. I keep playing around and saying I'm South African, I don't have a pony in this race. It's a lie. I host the European desk, and I am full British Hurricane for this one. Well, it's two to one on the desk, and what a desk to join us for the first time here on the broadcast, Jameson. You must feel a little bit outnumbered. Well, I'm going to try, you know, remain professional and impartial here, and I do think, you know, British Hurricane do bring a lot into this. We saw towards the end of the series, the end of the, grand, uh, the final, that they were playing a lot more dive, and that's what NA likes to do, so maybe British Hurricane are up to the challenge. Well, I mean, looking at the tank play coming out from Philadelphia University, or Fusion University to be more precise, I think that we have them beat on that tank game. Ooh, all right, Ooh. we'll see. Do you, do you think that maybe Fusion needs to be a little bit worried? Because the thing about British Hurricane is they're really good at adapting. We know that building up to this, they, all they did was practice adapting because they were the most stressed about one of their semi-finalists who were known for that. So they can switch it up at any given time. Does Fusion need to be worried? I do like the flexibility coming out from them. I've seen them play the quad tank, triple tank with the junk rat along with the 2-2-2 two, two, two dive. Fusion University, though, they are a little bit more one-dimensional where they just play that all-out dive. But you saw where that got them, a 4-1 victory. Trude, uh, don't you think, I was going to say, Hurricane needs to be scared on the other side because we just saw Fusion, every single player, mechanically good, phenomenal, popping off all at the same time. How do you compete with that? I mean, this is probably as nice as I'm going to get for this show match, but you have to give credit to Fusion University. They do are a bit of a one-trick pony, but that trick is so good. That dive composition, it's just, who are you? And especially Zachary's McCree at the end of that match was absolutely sublime. So a lot of points to look out for of your British Hurricane, but you've got to back the home team. And I think when it comes, like I said already, it comes to tank play, British Hurricane are going to turn Beast Halo into Feast Halo. Are we back on, we have to bring this up, but it is going to come up. I'm just going to bring it up. Quad tank, Jameson. <laughs> Oh, 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 should, should the Americans be terrified? I mean, we got to see what Philadelphia, excuse me, Fusion University were able to do up against Quad Tank at the beginning of their series up against Toronto. And uh, that Slambulance kind of had a broken wheel there and had to pull over to the side. Well, that's the difference between the American healthcare system and the British healthcare system. So, <laughs> you know, we're going to see a different level of Quad Tank. You guys have only just started picking it up. You've dabbled in it. You've played with the big boys. And they're like, you know what? We should probably try and learn this to some degree. But you haven't picked it up yet. Fusion University, they may be scholars, but they have so much to learn about this composition. We'll see if it's going to be a hurricane or just a uh, Gale Force One wins. Well, I don't know. <laughs> so much cheekiness. Okay, is it going to be a quad tank dive? I have a feeling we're going to see a lot more coming up from both these teams. We heard Alk earlier. He stood on the desk and he said, this is about having fun. It's about being a little bit cheeky. Maybe they pop up with the quad tank. The players always say that this is just about fun, but when it comes down to competing, you know they are all consummate competitors, and so they're going to give it all. They're all here. That fun is just that fun excuse is just setting up for if they lose. Ah, we were just having <laughs> yeah. fun, you know. We're just memeing. Not really important. No, these teams are going to be going at it. They've won their respective finals. They're riding a high. How good is the cherry on top if they beat their opposing region here at this final? They, they say that just so that if they lose they can say they're having fun. What I said earlier, I mean, I might pull out that South African card a little bit later. We don't know. We'll have to wait If, and see. if we notice the accent coming on a little bit thick, we'll know why. No, we all, you know, I'm South African. I, this is where I am. Okay. <laughs> Top players to watch in this because we know already Fusion. I mean, we can list them. But there are some superstars in that lineup. Who do we need to be keeping an eye on? I would say from... Uh, Fusion University, it's going to be Alarm. He played out of his mind, and you got to see when there was Sombra play, he played so well positionally that he just was not going down to it. And so he is the man that I'm looking at from this matchup. I think from the British Hurricane side, I'm definitely going to put it onto the tanks. It is definitely going to be happy cool, and it's going to be Fusions as the ones to watch in this one, because I feel like British Hurricane need to bring a more tank heavier style into this matchup, because I'm willing to concede, I don't think they can contest with a dive v dive matchup with this team. Jaws mentioned when he was on the desk that the way to shut down Fusion is potentially just to ignore who are you in Alarm, leave them to do their thing and try and just deal with the rest of them. 
Is that a good strategy, or do you need to go in and shut those two superstars down from the get-go? At the beginning of the series, we got to see what Who Are You can do when he's completely uncontested. On the Tracer, on the Genji, he can just absolutely demolish you, especially if he's left to his own devices on the Genji. That means he's farming up his blade. In that last fight on City Center, we actually got to see him build up a blade before Tracers got their bombs, and that is something that is unheard of. I have to ask this one as well, because we're doing head-to-heads -heads now. Our, arguably one of our best Annas in Europe is Bucket. He's a British Hurricane. We just saw Elk is arguably one of the best North American Annas. When they go head-to-head, -head, who do we think is going to take that title? It's so hard to call. Both of them make Anna look meta, and I feel as though having a strong Anna on the side of Fusion University when we're expecting tank-heavy competition from British Hurricane is going to be one of their biggest assets. So I think not necessarily it's down to the mechanical skill, the ability to play this hero. It's who is this Anna more impactful for, and I think it's going to be for Fusion University. Well, on the opposite end, though, I do have to kind of like play the devil's advocate is because Ana's generally enable someone like a Winston on opposite ends, right? But we're seeing that a lot of the team plans are going around up against Fusion University is that they counter dive up against Beast Halo. And Ana, she has a difficult time trying to get heals off uh, up against Winston Barriers and D.Va Defense Matrix. So this might be an opportunity where they can actually take advantage of Elk being on the Ana and not being able to do much if Beast Halo gets too aggressive. How is this going to handle for both teams? So we've, funny enough, ZP mentioned backstage that it wasn't fair because British Hurricane had some time to rest before the show match. But think about it. They've just come off this giant adrenaline high of winning. They have all this time for that adrenaline to fade away. Whereas Fusion University have just come off a win. They get straight back on stage. They're in the zone. Which one do you think favors the, the team? I think it's Fusion University. They've got a bit of an edge, yes. Their series was a bit of a hard-fought one, but it didn't go to the seven games, so I'm not going to put them up there in the fatigue category, but before any major sporting event or esports, you like to have a warm-up, and Fusion University, they found that warm-up in the form of Toronto esports. I mean, I cast that last match, and I'm just trying to contain my arm here. I'm just shaking, and my leg is also shaking. But yeah, I don't think that's going to really affect them that much, because you know what? Riding that high, it was only five maps for them. It wasn't the seven-map ordeal that British Hurricane had to deal with earlier today. I do think, though, I kind of agree with ZP here because watching you shake, we've got a team outside that are jumping around, super excited. They've just won. Trying to get them focused is going to be really, really tough. So maybe ZP has a point, but we'll have to, we'll have to wait and see now. It is time to introduce our two champions, North America and Europe. These are your teams competing for glory. And for Trit and I, we really need one of them to win. <laughs> this is British Hurricane and Fusion University. Interesting, we were talking about fatigue. You see the elk as he's coming up there. He's got these deep breaths going because he's trying to calm himself down. He's hot. He knows he's just won and now he's got to get back in the zone. Whereas British Hurricane looking rather confident. I mean, if I had to watch the NA final, knowing I was playing as the winner of that, I'd be pretty confident too. Okay, but I mean, take a look at this. They had to spend the time, the downtime there, the last two hours, just trying to watch everything and prep for this. But how do you prep for a dive like that? It has been so potent coming out from Fusion University here, and it doesn't even look like Alarmed is one bit scathed by that five mapper that they just played out. Trit, do you have an answer to Fusion University? Because when we chatted to them before this game, and we said to them, what are you going to do when Hurricane rolls out quad tank? They went, do they not know who Junkrat is? Well, they might know the Junkrat exists in North America. It might be used to the North American capabilities of a Junkrat. And they might be available to the North American quad tanks and triple tank compositions, but they have not come up in competition against quad tanks and triple tank compositions that are able to come out of Europe. I would actually completely agree with you on that point, and that was the biggest point where ZP and I were butting heads on all weekend long because, well, we only had bye week that, you know, they played the quad tank throughout the North American group stage, but they were not mechanically as good as someone like the British Hurricane. Can we just talk about 
the Giganti Titrid. Uh, I don't know if you got the memo, but they came second. They came second. This was gifted to me by Team Giganti. I had to humbly accept it. The reason I'm wearing it is because I feel like they need to be represented in this show match. That grueling seven game final, they can't go unrepresented in preparing Hurricane for all, in all seriousness, will probably be a difficult series. And they laid it all out on the line. I saw the teams, the competitors afterwards, Giganti were just crushed, but they shouldn't be because that was such a good showing out for them. So Giganti, come back season three. You guys are still the uncrowned kings, but I believe in you. I think that they've given Hurricane a really good warm up for that. And now obviously it's very obvious which side of the fence both of you fall on, but I, I want you to hype these teams up a little bit more. So if someone's watching at home from South Africa and can't decide which side to go on, why should Hurricane be the team you support, Trud? Hurricane should be the team because they are the kings of Europe. They were the fan favorites. They've just won their European final. These guys are so versatile. Yes, I've already conceded. They might not be able to match up to the dive, but is there a team that needs a deep enough toolbox to pull something out against Fusion University? It's gonna be the British Hurricane. By the way, for Fusion University, that last match, that was a warm-up. Who are you and Zachary? They are all loosey-goosey. Hurricane got nothing on this. Okay, we know that they'll be playing on control first. What do you think this map is, is going to do for these teams? Which direction do you think it's going to go in? I think it depends on the map. I think if we get something like Nepal, I can see British Hurricane rolling that over. If it's something like Ilios that requires a few more versatile compositions or Oasis, I think Fusion might actually have it out in the first map. Fusion are the kings of control. Like I mentioned on the casting desk that, well, they have a 100% win rate on Oasis. They know that they are, one of their biggest strengths is that they can brawl it out with someone like Zachary, with someone or with uh, like Who Are You. And so that's an environment that they thrive in. Having, the, having control twice in the map pool really does favor them. Well, they're kings of North American control. We have to move into <laughs> European control, where British Hurricane, yeah, they might not have that undefeated record necessarily, but they are incredibly strong in that archetype. They are the two best teams from both regions, North America and Europe, but who is the best out of both of them? We are about to find out. British Hurricane is taking on Fusion University, and this wouldn't be fun if we didn't take an American caster and pair them with one of the Europeans. So ZP and Desert Chew are about to butt heads as we move into map number one. Kid. Can you tame a hurricane? That is the question that Fusion University is going to be researching here as they take on the British Hurricane. I'm ZP here with my companion from across the pond, Des. Des, how you doing? I'm pretty good, my man. Looking forward to this series. The guys in the desk have put ahead. So I like to think we're a bit more peaceful and amicable here. We can have a very gentlemanly conversation about this, I'm sure. Not at all. Not in the least. We are going to be bantering all day long here, of course. This is a little bit of fun, but there is pride at stake. There is absolutely pride at stake. And I think for either team, again, there's a very big high coming off the back of today. But you know what the real title you want to go home with? EU, greater than NA. Five maps. We're going to show you what it were made of. Now, one thing that's worth noting before the camera goes away from us here. Uh, NA, let's not say that we are not generous. We've given you a gift. Well, it's actually, it's actually the only time that I think anything will come this way over the ocean. We've actually imported something from NA here. It is Mr. X's <laughs> bo box from the Overwatch League because, believe it or not, I am quite a bit shorter than you. So if we put this down and stand on this, whoa, this is what it's whoa. like having your head in the clouds. Nice. Well, hopefully it fills you with the same sense of empty pride that it might do to Mr. <laughs> X as he stands up with Mitch. But either way, all right, we're on even. I see you. I see you, man. Okay. Even heads now. We're ready for this one. The teams are going head to head. We're capable now of going head to head now that I'm on your level. It's pretty good. You know what? EU needs any advantage they can get going into this matchup, so it's totally fine with me. Mate, come on. I'm going to say it this way, right? Your guys' dive works so well because you have so much space because all you play against is dive. You have not witnessed the revelation that is quad tank and triple tank played in the European style. And I think you guys are in for a rude awakening today. Hey, I, I saw Fusion dealing with Toronto's version of quad tank, and they were dealing with it just fine. They didn't even need Junkrat. Junkrat was on the bench. A lot of love for Toronto, but that was a cheap imitation of what we have here in NA. Those guys arrived, they screamed the EU teams and went, damn, this is actually really good. We need to copy this. They've tried to copy it, and to be fair, a few days isn't good enough. They're going to get the real taste now. We'll see if Hurricane will actually come out with that, or they'll go, wait, we want to try and challenge Fusion University on their own terms. But guess what, Des? We're going to be heading into Ilios here. Beach front property going to be the first map of this show match. Well, we've got to give you guys some kind of advantage to get this started, right? If we went to Nepal, it would be unfair because we would just roll you over. 
Wow. All right. You think we can't handle the snow and ice? We have half of our continent up in Canada. It's all snow and ice. I'm in Minnesota. It's basically Canada itself. So we'll see about that. Absolutely. And I'm looking forward to Ilios. Being all serious now, we do see a lot of variety on Ilios, whether it's going from Farah comps all the way through to full dive, something you guys love, all the way across the tank. So there's a lot of options for both teams to pull out here to try and surprise each other. And I think after all this time of scrimming against other teams from your region, a bit against the other, it's time to let the hair down and really show what they're made of. It'll be interesting, right? Because one of the things that's vaunted about EU, where the teams themselves are telling us, was that they really value their versatility. Man, <laughs> the players are already like one last ride. <laughs> They're one ready for ride. their last ride, if nothing else. So that makes me think that Hurricane is going to be testing Fusion Chops against the Quad Tech setup and kind of defending the pride of EU in a sense. There's a lot of pride here on the line, but nothing I think we need to defend in numbers. I think we're more than capable of showing you guys what real tank play looks like. And to be honest, coming into this one, I wouldn't be surprised if actually Fusion have looked across at Hurricane and they get an idea immediately exactly what they're coming up against. All right, well, Fusion University, they kind of knew this might be happening in the Hurricane. Wait, 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 please, Hurricane. <laughs> if they roll out with literally six tanks for that first push, just to again give you guys a bit of a chance and have a bit of fun, they earn my respect forever. I mean, why go quad tank when you can go six tank? Just with, oh no, okay. Oh, guys, please, just once. They're not going, but... No, nope. no. Nope. Bit of change, never mind. So speak wow. to me then, you, you, you can't see these guys a lot. What do you expect them to bring to Ilios? What do we expect Fusion to bring the Ilios? I think it's going to be more of the same, where you have Who Are You working on the flank. Zachary's going to be a distraction looking for hacks, and even if base Taylor dies early, Who Are You's going to take advantage of his sacrifice. It uh, looks like the EU are going for the old debate once again, switching over themselves to go for the Somp Racer drivers we've taken to call it. Let's see how your boys stack up against us. Zachary going to be setting up the translocate escape path. Who are you flanking on the outside? He's Halo, not going in too deep. Who are you? Almost getting booped off into the pit. Fusion, not able quite to get deep in on Hurricane here. Now Hurricane going to turn the tables, diving on the other side. Alarm is down, and the Hurricane winds are sweeping on through. School might be canceled here as the Hurricane looking to grab this first point. It's the snow day. They're getting pushed aside by the Hurricane and Alarm. He's the guy you guys speak about an awful lot, but he is nothing for a storm of this caliber. That is terrifying. A Hurricane that's also bringing snow. I mean, it's going to bring Blizzard and winds. Everything would be destroyed. It's a real nice link here to Blizzard as a company at the bubble this one as well. Just being Hurricane, I'm looking out towards the storm that Craggy is going to bring now that he's got hold of this pulse bomb. Going to be looking for those key members in the bat line. He did say to us, Alarm is the one Zen he really fears when looking at the NA region. Let's see how Alarm faces off against a pulse bomb. Well, meanwhile, you have Kib right now on the flank looking for Alarm. Alarm might have more things to worry about here. The flanks are on the top and Alarm already down. Meanwhile, on the other side, though, Fusions was punished for it as Who Are You gets to work. This is Who Are You in cleanup duty. So deadly in the NA region. And now the Hurricane get a taste. And Crusade goes down. That clip all on target. Who are you really popping off there and just reminding us here in EU that actually there are some stellar tracer players elsewhere in the world as well. I've got a feel for Alarm because watching the first three fights, you know exactly what happened in their pre-team talk. It was like, guys, Alarm, dead. He does not get to play Overwatch today. Alarm is feeling like a marked man right now or a marked Omnic as it will. He's going to be going further and further back, almost might be in a spawn if British Hurricane continue to dive on him like that. But now, the next fight underway, Fraggy. Well, dancing around the side, has to back away from Who Are You. Fusion still in control of the point. You see Craggy trying to check Who Are You as Kim comes on the other side. EMP ready, drops the EMP on the top side, and that might be enough for the Hurricane. It gives him the edge in the fight, but Who Are You is still around. You can't ignore the sprint. Absolutely. Craggy is doing a bit of a dance to the two DPS here while the rest of the team cleans up. And this will be another Hurricane 1 fight, but they haven't yet pulled the point back, CP. Who Are You is living on the edge and finally ends up falling down, but to your point, the Hurricane have not retaken this yet. Fusion are delaying all the while, and that is good news for them. Even as British Hurricane were winning this fight heavily, it means they have to invest the barrier before they can take the fight. And Fusion right now, more than content to fight a losing fight, but one where they still have control. They managed to get themselves back in with the EMP, and then of course the Primal Rage coming out of Beast Taylor was enough oh! to win it back, but it's going to be a boot down as Crusade falls down into the well. Elk treating Crusade to the bottom of Ilios that time, and Fusion University, they go from delay to victory, able to prevent control from flipping over, and now Hurricane, they're in a rough spot. They absolutely are. Fusion's bringing out the Primal Range here, just trying to keep everyone at bay to give his team some space, but the kill feed is still going red as Fusion are cleaning up Hurricane. Fusion putting on the pressure here, and the Hurricane that was starting out of this Category 5 might now just be a tropical storm, if that. Gonna be down to their final fight. Bit of a rough start to them at least. You gotta give as well to Fusion University a great stall out on the point to make sure they never gave it over to Hurricane. They got 5% to go, and Craggy gets the opening kill onto Zachary. 
Zachary already out of the fight. Here comes Hurricane. It might be upgrading or some warm tropical water as Kim about to get the EMP. Alarm under assault was warm, but he transcends out of danger. Kim gonna have to wait for this EMP. Waiting. The rest of his team still alive, but for how long? Drops EMP and Alarm out that got tagged. Alarm was able to get off the other end. Nice movement from Alarm. Craggy, though, still a threat. Trying to chase down Who Are You. The pressure is in, and yet Who Are You escapes. Hurricane, though, they've gotten the better end of this fight, and even though Alarm is still alive, he's not alive for long. Who Are You, Peekaboo, off on the other side, but the Hurricane should be able to retake, and they do. They do finally, but it's still at that 99% point. And we heard Elk on the desk say they thrive in those 99-99 fights of a Hurricane. They are heading towards that point. They've got another 50% capture to go before they get there. I've got to give it to you guys. Fusion University definitely stacking up against it. But this is on your turf. This is playing this dive that we've been speaking about so often. So far, matching actually pretty well. Well, you know what? You might have the royalty, but right now, you guys are the ones bending the knee to the North American meta. That's, <laughs> all, that's all I'm seeing right now. It's Fusion all University. All of Ruse. Look, Fusion University in a good spot here. Zachary holding on to the EMP, gonna be looking for his opportunity to just drop it off on the other side. Hurricane's gonna have to play around that. There's the barrier in early. The EMP was out and Fusion's out of the fight. Fusion striking in deeply. Hurricane gonna have to fight this back with a two-man disadvantage and Crusade. Fades out, uses Colossus, but is just shot in the back. Who are you? Once more in cleanup duty and Fusion. Well on their way to taking this first round. They absolutely are there. There comes the recap. Only 10% left for Hurricane, but there's no one around to contest this point right now. Craggy's going to do what he can to try and hold this down with Fusion. He has the primal range for the stall, so there's still time here for ZB for the EU to get back into this fight. And there he oh! goes! Oh, the double! This is Overwatch as he boops him into the pit. I like to think he just kicked him on in. And the British Hurricane come on back. Astro with an astronomically hero play at the last moment in Fusion. They're on the brink. Alarm has to transcend back in. Still trying to get the way in there as well. Who are you is back in the fight, trying to focus down those supports once again. Astro, no more boots for you, my friends. Who are you has the answer. Oh, goodness. It's who are you coming back in. Gang, the cleanup right one way. The miracle might be over for the Hurricane here as Fusion get control of the point. They get rid of all the stragglers, and round one goes to the Fusion. Ending it out with a team kill as well. Impressive stuff. And I gotta say, a quick better note there. Astro, he's taking the place of Crusade. Crusade usually takes the place of Astro. In this case, Bok has been dropped by the team, and they're playing Astro and Crusade together. So a bit of a change to the usual style of play for Hurricane, opting to try something a little bit different here, maybe to try and throw off the scent from their North American counterparts. I mean, the other option is that Bok is a superhero. We know he's a doctor already. He's actually off saving lives. We're just playing some Overwatch. He's on standby first aid for when <laughs> NA lose categorically at the end of this series. Ouch. I don't even have a comeback for that one. That That's actually same, burns. You're not allowed to board a plane unless you are healthy, so we've got to make sure you guys are ready to go home. Look, I just got to say this much. Let's see if that is actually the case, because it might just be protecting his own team, knowing that they're going to need the CPR at the very end. Fusion University, though. Up and ready as we move in to the outside. And oh boy, you ready, tank. GP? Are you ready? It's the EU special. We're taking this seriously now. We're going to show you what EU Quad Tech really looks like. Well. Right now, it looks like they're going to be ignoring the point as Fusion University goes, all right, we're going to get all You wait for this want. Lucio speed boost, my friend, and that's when it's all going to kick off. You know this is going to be bad if Elk just boops him into the water, right? This would be beautiful if he does. He's going to oh, try. He, he's going for it. No. Oh, doesn't quite get it, but Fusion is ready to pounce immediately. They do exactly what the Hurricane were up to here. Hurricane going to be getting correctly onto the point, and Crack Wagon got half pulled to back early on. Now a key piece of the quad tank already in trouble, but Crack Wagon goes down on the other side. The British Hurricane. Growing in power here on the point, spinning rapidly. And Kim, under pressure, but still able to get healed up. And the quad tank of the British Hurricane does get first control. They absolutely do manage to a nice grab landing at the end. Not quite needed. This Crusade is the one who pops off with that coalescence, bringing do back down both Alarm and Who Are You. First fight being won by the Hurricane, but for Fusion University, Zachary has got that EMP online. And Zachary is down, not able to get a chance to use it as Craggy snipes him right out of the air. A little bit of help from Kib along the way. And Fusion University, gonna have to wait for him to come back in tune, but the EMP could be big in dealing with this. I mean, the players have spoke to each other a lot over the last few days, and the NA teams know that, that all the EU teams like to fall back to this very tank-heavy play. I'm very curious to see if we see any adaptation to try and deal with this. I'm very curious to see if we see any Genji come out. I don't expect it, but there comes the EMP. EMP out from Zachary Fusion trying to capitalize and no, they just lose two immediately. The counter engaged Craggy, the Graviton ruining their day. They're not able to get what they want there. Instead, they just get swung on by Fusion. And who are you? He can't believe it. He's going swimming. 
actually, I think, had his pulse bomb eaten there by Happy Cool towards the end of that fight. Was hoping to bring down one of the big tanks, but was not quite going to happen. So it feels almost like the Hurricane has said to University, OK, we'll come play on your turf, we'll come play your dive-based compositions, and then we're going to show you what a real composition looks like. Well, we'll see if they can carry that into the next round. Of course, round after this would be ruins. And for now, though, Fusion still fighting for the Lighthouse stage. They're going to drop on down off the top. He's Halo. Needs a proper rage early and does. Looking for some boots off the edge. Crusade already down the engine of the quad tank. It's what keeps it alive. Fusion drops a hammer, but on one just hits the floor. And Fusion now moving their way in. They're going to take this fight. It's likely the point. Absolutely do. They managed to clear out all the tanks. Getting rid of Astro was a big advantage for these guys as well. And they will finally take the point back. Hurricane now. I expect to see what we see out of a lot of European teams when it comes to quad tank. Is you stack up some of those ultimates and you go for that one big retake at the very end. Well, actually, their faith in quad tank has failed. Finished. They are now swapping back off to a bit of a mirror composition here, so the threat quad tank is over, but it has given them an edge. Absolutely has. Let's see if Craig and Kiv can stack up against Zachary, because to be honest with you, we've seen him in the last round really popping off on the McCree, and I'm confident he can do the same thing here on the... Why is that name completely gone in my head? Crusade. No. The purple Sombra, the, that's the, the one. The Sombra, the EMP off the other side, and who are you? Connects! The Pulse Bomb takes down two, and Fusion well prepared for Hurricane's imitation of the dive. Imitation, it does feel like at this point. Not Definitely not as successful as Fusion University, but when you guys have been playing this in contenders all this time, I imagine there's a lot of opportunity to practice, rehearse, and make sure you know how to perfect this dive. After all, that is why they are the NA champions, as we saw not too long ago. While well, Hurricane, as the EU champion, still might have some tricks up their sleeve, they have some time left, but they have to deal with a huge up bank up for Fusion University right now. They do, along with that transcendence as well as the sound barrier. As long as they don't double stack these together, then they have a lot of resource to make this work out for them. And we always speak about the Diva self destruct being a great zone denier. That's a lot of zone control coming through Fusion University. Well, now Fusion, they're going to open up with the barrier first. Elk leads the way. They don't want to use the transcendence unless it's absolutely necessary, but the barrier's gone. They have a guy that kills Alarm. you got to transcend right now. The save crack lock in. And no, he's going to get D-Mech. The transcendence still not used. Elk is already down. It would be a late transcend now. Alarm still holds it. Beast Halo looks for the knockoff. Not able to get it and the Hurricane swooping on in, perhaps about to take control of this fight. Absolutely, but the longer this fight goes on, the more it's going to start favoring out the diving fields here. But for Craggy bringing down Zachary, that is a big pickoff. And Fusions with his ultimate online, the Primal Rage, is going to tear apart the team. Hurricane is sweeping through University and showing them what's what. The shingles are flying off the rooftops right now as the Hurricane breeze on through. They're going to take control of the point, and we're going to round number three. That's how you like to start any series off, right? No one likes a 2-0. It's got to be balanced and fair. It's got to show the true merit of both of these teams, both champions in their own right. I'm very curious to see how this plays out in the third round of Ilios. It's going to be interesting, and I, going back to that last fight, it was a little bit uncharacteristic from Alarm, where Alarm usually is very in tune with support alts there, but he was late on using his transcendence, and as a result, Fusion was not able to maintain their control on the point. By the time he used it, the damage had been done, and British Hurricane was able to win a fight that was honestly looking pretty grim on the onset. You're right, I and mean, you even called it out yourself. You said for Beast Halo, he was going pretty low, and you thought Alarm was going to pop the Transcendence, but it didn't come through. So, a bit of miscommunication potentially in the mix of that. Or maybe Alarm was more aware of another threat that was coming through soon. But Hurricane, it's time for that ride, boys. It's that final quad tank coming through to try and close out. Ilios, they've got to face up against Zachary's Widowmaker. Yeah, I was going to say, no Fusion University. They teach classes in Smug Purple Lady. Excellent. It's actually a real class, and that is the exact name because really the attitude is part of how you play it. And for now, the Hurricane, they're hiding out here once more. It didn't work out for them on the previous stage where they're going to wait, speed boost out all at the same time while healed up. And they're giving Fusion plenty of time to set up. What they're not giving Fusion is the sight lines for Zachary's Widow, where they will get first control of the point very quickly here. Beast Halo barely escaping with his life. This is what Quad Tank does very well as it gets the ground he wants to take, and it stays there. If the real question comes in when you've been there for 5, 10, 15, seconds, can you hold down the pressure coming in from the other side? We're going to need a lot of focused aggression from Fusion University to shut down the Hurricane here, and already they've found Happy Cool. Happy Cool is down, and now it's a project where you see the Hurricane all grouping together, trying to keep up that critical mass. Zachary working around the outskirts, looking for anyone to make a headshot in the moment. Elk, though, barely able to escape death. Alarm already out of it, and Fusion starting to bleed members, bleed some health as they try and take out the Hurricane, who's starting to reform. 
feels like they actually figured out where Zachary might be there with a nice getaway. Oh! Oh! Well, that's a grab from Kip. There's the roadblock from EU. We've all been waiting to see, and he finds himself shut down. Gotta say as well, the last thing I ever expected to see was a Widowmaker coming head to head with a Reinhardt. That was the weirdest thing I've seen all the contenders. Look, sometimes you gotta just channel your inner battle when you go, I'm not afraid of your hammer. I have a machine gun, and oh god, what have I done? I had too much to drink last night. <laughs> Fusion University, though, on the way back in. 56%. Who are you's down? Kim gets who are you just with a simple right click at the right moment. That delays Fusion so much. It's the same as what we see with teams like Angry Times from EU. The quad tank works because you have such big Roadhog players who are capable of landing these clutch hooks that shut down these more annoying mobile heroes like the Tracer, like the Sombra, or in some cases we saw even a fleeing Widowmaker. There's EMP early on here from Alarm, trying to set Fusion. They need to take advantage quickly, but oh, Astro was not in it. He drops the sound barrier to save the Hurricane in on the moment. However, that wasn't the only trick up the Fusion sleeve. The self-destruct came in at the same time, and who are you? Once more in garbage man mode, moving around the outskirts, taking out people on the side, but the Hurricane, they're fighting through this. They're not getting who are you quite the same opportunities. Kip going to be deep neck and crack and takes, oh, oh Lily. Off. he's taken down. Fusion still fighting this tooth and nail. They absolutely are, but Astro has found himself a couple of headshots onto both tanks in the midst of all this fighting. And who are you manages to get one back onto Fusions, but at this point it's still blue at this time. ZP and Fusion are doing their best to fight this back. Here comes a big Graviton Surge, locking everyone in place. It's a double kill for Astro. Crusade even throws in and gives his pence. That's going to be a win for British Hurricane, and they are reminding NA that EU plays tanks down well. And right now, the impossible might be happening. A hurricane has formed, and it's over Philadelphia. Fusion have certainly been caught off guard here. First map going the way of the Hurricane. And bear in mind, we did talk in the preamble how strong Fusion has been on these control maps. So the fact that Hurricane was able to come in and take this one away and use that quad tank to good success, it's surprising but it is very promising if you're rooting for you to take the show match. I'd almost love to see this go the full distance so we can play Nepal because Hurricane are very much so regarded for their triple DPS setup on Sanctum. I would love to see how Fusion handle that. Also, don't forget, I mean, Fusion, they do like map number five. Maybe this is part of their grand strategy. We're like, well, we need to spawn this map and then another map. Then we can go to map five where we're actually truly comfortable in winning. Quite possibly. It's the only one way to find out, though. That's to get into these future maps. And I'm very curious to see how we start moving, because Control, it's all about those team fights. It's generally quite a lot of mobility coming through. When we get into things like Hybrid and Escort, that's when you're really going to start seeing Quad Tank coming out in some depth. And I feel sorry for your sanity already, <laughs> my friend. Well, I might be losing it as we go on, but if you want to see it, stay tuned. Still more to come in this match. Good job, my man.
There's a storm warning out for the pride of North America as their dignity has taken a ding. British Hurricane starting out here with a 1-0 lead over the Fusion University. And I gotta say, EU has been really saying we play quad tank better and so far it's looking to be the case absolutely and it's probably worth mentioning some backstage information for you guys who was sat here just now and zeefy was essentially sat in his chair like not like this and the hurricane guys are sat next to us and they're like this is a fantastic this is what we've been waiting to see because right now your mental sanity is probably about as stable as this box which i'm standing on and the answer to that is not very no it's not i mean you could really just fall off at a time much like eu could fall off at a time during this match as we do expect fusion university the bounce back uh, they were playing really well earlier today and I don't think you can run quad tank against them this entire time. Potentially not, but we all said that coming into week one and into week two and then in week three of EU contenders we were like you know what these guys are going to run quad tank the whole map wherever they can and they make it work and we've mentioned this yesterday and what we saw in the NA semi-finals was that for Toronto they switched off quad tank as soon as it failed once. EU teams will stick it out three, four, five fights in until they get that big old stack. Yes, but in NA we have a different tale. Uh, did you ever hear about the tragic, tragic story of bye week the unwon? They ran a lot of quad tank. They never won a series. <laughs> Just letting you know. So it, we have our own legacy of quad tank in North America. Well, I'd like to formally invite you guys to come over here and have a boot camp with us sometimes. It'll be a very, <laughs> it'll be a very long, arduous week full of defeats, but I'm sure you'll learn a lot. You know what, I, I would, I'm with you up until the defeat point here where maybe we would just change your mind of thinking and get you the play, you know, similar to how other leagues do, like this thing called Overwatch League, where you don't see a whole lot of quad tank there. Oh, what can I say, man? Being a conformist is boring. you got to play your own stuff and become inventive and creative. Or you, can stop, or you can stop and copy everyone else. Until I look to you guys, we'll leave you to decide on that one. But heading into Numbani, this is definitely a map, if nothing else, that calls for some dive and more importantly, gives Who Are You an opportunity to shine on this Genji. And of course, who are you? His Genji has been his signature hero, where when you put him in this live environment where you don't give him the what should be a competition induced handicap of, you know, 150 ping does pretty well. Doesn't even need a blade to go in and get three, four kills at a time. The real question is, is when you come up against a few tanks, how do you respond? Because if you go charging in on Genji, it works great into like a dive-based competition where once the enemy team's tanks have moved or used their movement abilities to dive or to counter-dive in some cases, you then have all the freedom to choose what you do next. And it's that quick decision-making for guys like you are you that can really make a key difference. I'm just concerned that he won't find as much room as he's hoping for here against the Hurricane. One thing he does have to be really careful of that he hasn't to deal with much today is the threat of the Roadhog, where if you're not paying attention to the Roadhog, you, you think things every, or everything's going to be okay, well, you can get a hook that brings you on in and ruins your day. So, who are you? It has to be careful around the Roadhog. And we've actually seen in North America that certain things that he doesn't play against very often can very much mess him up, where there was one match where a Torbjorn turret actually just stopped him entirely. Impressive, and we see in EU an awful lot, a number of Torbjorns on the first point. And the crowd are drumming them up as well. The players are ready, we're into game. I'm very curious to see how Craggy plays on this Roadhog as well, because normally that's a Kip special, but he's being put onto this Genji to try and run that distracting style of play, you might say, just by contesting the high ground. But for now, he's going to stick on the low ground. They're going to storm onto point. There'll be a bunch of tanks coming out of the tunnel. Craggy on the Roadhog, of course, looking for who are you. British Hurricane almost getting a tick for free right now. Fusion going to have to come in and contest. The hook, though, off pulldown. Crack Lacken dancing around the point on it, just enough to keep the contest going up. But the Hurricane, they're looking pretty good right now. Half a pull, living on the edge of life and death, healed right on up. And now, they've got one tick, they're about to get two. Fusion, when are you going to move in? Who are you already has a blade? That's what they've been waiting for here. He has to come in with the tune. He knows there's not going to be an ult to deal with it, or does he? Bach, real close to Transcendence. Beast, Halo, and Crack Lacken are down, and it's a late blade from Who Are You that probably won't get much done, as Bach got the Transcendence just in time. He manages to get the one, but it wasn't even the back of the blade, because he just could not burn through that Transcendence. But it feels like Hurricane had managed to get the point here, and even with this big Genji player in Who Are You with a nano boost, it's not enough to stop this British Hurricane tank setup. I gotta say here, uh, EU said that they're gonna be taking North America on one last ride. Well, this is the second map, and this is ride number two, and I'm not sure if Fusion is enjoying this ride. And neither are you. I can just see the mentality <laughs> of this man next to me slowly fall into tatters because he knows for the next season you are gonna see so much more tank play in North America. No! <laughs> no! <laughs> Why? I'm channeling my inner Michael Scott right now. No! <laughs> well, we're in point two, Numbani. British Hurricane looking to keep up their momentum. Kib has the Dragon Blade at the ready, and they have tools here, even as Half Cold takes a nap. This entire thing bores him. It does, man. It's a bit too easy for him right now. 
really hate right. that you might be right right now. <laughs> the Hurricane <laughs> looking to come back in, and Craggy blow right up. Zachary off on the side, and now this is the opportunity that Fusion might have been waiting for. The self-destruct on the other end, sent up by Half Gold. God, who are you? The threat is out, and Kim still can hang on to the Dragon Blade here. Waiting. He's still going to get knocked away. He's deciding to get out of the fight. But the Hurricane keep the payload going forward. And Kip hunting down the survivors. There will be no quarter. Moving on in. Takes down three. One of the best blades we've seen from Kip all day. We see your who are you. We raise you a Kip. And Kip has the answer. Like I say, when you've got these dive based compositions, you are given so much more time to get into the bat line and just tear them apart. It's a lot different for him. And he's probably actually celebrating right now, saying, guys, I actually managed to get more than one kill on my blade for the first time probably in the last six weeks because I never had this amount of freedom. You're not wrong. Oh, you can hear the chants out front. Do it with us. It's one last ride. One last ride. Get they me. go for the quad tank. Get me off EU's wild ride. Fusion University, though, they can't seem to get away from this unstoppable momentum of the Hurricane Elk. Hooked on in, taken on out. And that's a big blow early on to start out this fight. Zachary, though, on the other side. Gets a team back on the half and Here's the blade from Huryu going back down the other side. Gets one. And the explosion from Cracklack is going to be making enough space towards the other end. Fusion University gets to stabilize on the body last. Yeah, they do manage to push it back. So a small victory for NA. But the war looks like so far it's going in favor of the Hurricane. These pushes have been pretty devastating. And even for Elk, we speak a lot about this guy and his Ana saying it's one of the best that we see in NA contenders. When you've got four tanks being boosted for by Lucio, chances are you won't be walking from that one, away from that one alive. No, you probably will not as British Hurricane going to be coming up here once more in this moment, they know that they want to deal as much, but what they don't realize is that Elk actually already has a nano boost up here again. They're going to be going off the left side. We catch things off guard. Hook, not going to connect. Half a cool taking a nap off that early sleep dart. And it's who are you off the nano boost, trying to build things up. And Halo doesn't primal rage in time. However, Fusion still has Hurricane literally Elk. in a corner. And Elk got two as Ana. He's just sitting there saying, I've had enough of this stuff. You guys get out of my yard now. I have no more of this EU quad tank business in my backyard. And does manage to detract them, at least for now. Even with that nano boost coming through onto Who Are You, he's still at 55% and they have that blade online. They've got the trance. They've got that primal rage that they didn't bring down in the last fight. But there are options for Hurricane. They have got five ultimates. You are about to witness the critical mass of quad tank. What? Hurricane needs right now is a good earth tower. Now, Fusions lets down the hammer, and they go for Beast Halo, but there's a warm! Brings down the prayers, keeps Beast Halo alive, and Who Are You gonna bring out a blade of his own, but it's dealt with reasonably well with Hurricane. The barrier means that Who Are You gets nothing except a hammer straight to the grill, but the self-destruct on the other side. Pushing Hurricane back. Kip, a little bit of love to Beast Halo, pulls him on in, but the Hurricane are standing strong. Kip might be down, but the rest of them all up. Cracker lacking with the nano boost, trying to get in the middle and make things happen, but it's not to be as it seems to feel. He gets the one kill. Here comes the Graviton Surge. He's going to lock him in place, bring him down. Hurricane are on course to complete Numbani with a solid final fight. This would be a ridiculously fast time. Fusion struggling to breathe right now. Alarm coming in with the late transcendence as the Hurricane move on through. Pure power coursing through Dr. Bach right now. However, Fusion University starting to get the kills I need. Alarm piling on. And here comes Who Are You? He's on the doofist. A punch to the face. He's had enough. His rage can't be contained. It's pure fist of cups right now for the Fusion. And it's actually working out. It is so far. They're holding them back. But he needs Taylor's going to get dropped down after he brings Kip for himself. And out comes the self destruct on the point as well. Just to push them back momentarily. Fusions will go down. And University will manage to push British Hurricane back once again. Who are you deciding, you know what, you guys might be British, we're going to have a gentlemanly battle, a little bit of uh, boxing, the good old fashioned ring. Well, we haven't brought our Brox Boxer to the ring yet, so he's kind of punching at smoke right now. We've got to try and chase that around and match him on this one. But we're saying, you know what, we like our fist quad tank size. There are four fingers to a hand, there are four tanks in this composition. We're going to show you what's going to happen, and they're not far away from Craggy. Craggy's Graviton Surge. And you're right, the Graviton here is going to be big. Craggy, though, has to be able to Nano get it off. Nano Doofist! I, I have not seen this before. Nano Doofist punches and goes to the sky. Meteor Strike, up we go, down we go. Doesn't quite get the kill, and oh no, that's what I'm going to see. Graviton <laughs> Self-destruct, Hurricane deals the best play, a big boom and a bigger play. The Hurricane now on the verge of pushing this one right in. Doom this. I'd love to see you, but you're gone. The Hurricane's at a quick time here on the body. We clearly agree with you there, ZP, on having the gentleman's agreement. They're saying we're going to play this properly now. We're going to show you how real gentlemen handle a game of Overwatch and push themselves through to completion. But you've got to give some props over to Fusion University. They burnt a good two minutes of the time back there on that final point.
which you need to do on last point Nambani. I would say Nambani is won and lost more often than not on your last point play, whether it be your attack or your defense. It's rarely decided on first and second. But now we swap sides. The Hurricane, we get to see their defensive chops. The Fusion go to the attack. I'd like to see how they do with Hyo on this Genji once again, because despite being shut down by the heavy tank based competition out of Hurricane, he did have a couple earlier on in the round that actually looked quite promising. And Hurricane time and time again have ran Bok on the Anna and they have played Kib on the Soldier. Whether or not they choose to opt for that or if they are just taking this to the full meme extent they possibly can and milking it for all it's worth, who knows? We'll find out in about 60 seconds. I mean, it is hard to tell how much of this is Hurricane running this because they think it's the best strategy or how much it's like, you guys don't know how to deal with this, so we're just going to run it. You guys might be out of juice from your final, but we've had time to relax, have a little bit of catering, and have sensible chuckles to ourselves about, oh, God. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, well, I was about to say, they're going to try and hide and go for some shit. Maybe they are. We'll find out and see in a second. But it's almost oh. like this is this is dessert served to Hurricane on a platter. They're just saying, you know what? It's time for us to get our final meal before this event draws to a close. And Fusion University... You're looking pretty tasty right now. Yeah, and you know the thing that uh, troubles me? This is going to work. <laughs> you know it's going to work as well. Uh, no, th this is probably going to work. This is going to be the old school train wreck strategy. Fusion doesn't have a Hanzo to scout it out. Oh, boy. Here comes the surprise no one likes. It's your birthday, and you wish you weren't invited. <laughs> Well, let's see if this pain train does roll through. And they, of course, always with the Lucio on side, makes it so easy for this comp to jump up to the appropriate member. Zachary with a very <laughs> smart scout. But here they come. Help! Everyone in! Go to the pick out. Uh oh. Fusion was prepared. Fusion knew what was happening here. Craggy's down immediately, but the rest of the hurricane. Oh Fusion. my goodness! Fusions! Swing, swing, and everyone's hitting the deck. The hammer didn't even have to touch the ground. And the hurricane turned that fight around in spades, and now they get to run back victorious with an Earth Shatter in hand. And just about to have the Coalescence on side as well. Cracky getting about 10% ult charge off that fight while Fusion is like, hey, here's a fully charged ultimate for you right now. He's going to switch over to the Tracer though. So maybe it was more of a initial fight surprise they wanted to bring. Just to remind the that Quad Tank is a thing in case they forgot from about 60 seconds prior. Well, you know what? If they forgot, uh, they might forget again because I'm pretty sure they got concussion from that Reinhardt swing the hammer. Zachary already down and Fusion's ready to come off the top rope. This is where you can just jump on down, drop the Earth Shatter. I'm not sure if Fusion's even ready to go on in right now. They're awfully scattered. A minute has gone by. Alarm is down. And Beast Halo soon to follow. Uses a Primal Rage, but... Oh! Hammer down, and that is one Winston flying without any purpose towards the end. Fusion, though, still working their way in. Beast Halo still alive in the situation. This actually could turn the way of Fusion as respawns come on in. Backlock has got the ultimate as well. Going to drop it out here just to try and see if he can secure anything. The answer is no. no. But as soon as he gets back into mech, he's knocked straight back out by Hurricane. Respawns not able to come in quite as often. In fact, Cracklacken can be taken on a long, staggering ride. And time. Starting to be not on the fusion side. This tank heavy setup of the Hurricane is giving them all they can match and more, which means that Trid on the desk is going to be insufferable. He is go he's insufferable already. But yeah. when, and when EU are winning 2-0, uh, you know exactly what's coming at halftime. I mean, if he had hair, he'd be going Super Saiyan. That's what I'm <laughs> saying right now. Why it's like if Napa could go Super Saiyan. I don't even know what that looks like. But Craggy <laughs> got a war, and the dive from the Hurricane with this quad tank works out. The contradiction is real in my voice as I speak it. Who are you with the blade on the other end? God, Bach. That's not going to be enough. Unfortunately, one kill, as we've come to learn in the EU, it's not enough for a Genji to be worth the investment, which is so often why we see Tracer being the prominent go-to dive-based DPS. But let's see now if they can make anything happen. A minute 40 left on the clock. That's only 100 seconds EP before we find ourselves in a 2-0 scenario. Kib under pressure right now, able to take a breather, shake it off. Half a cool. Gonna drop the self-destruct over the top. Is he gonna connect? No, but it's gonna let him get back into the mech. Meanwhile, Craggy got the better of Alarm. Zachary desperately trying to fight the other way, but Fusion running out of options here. Who are you was so damaged, he had to back out early, and they just can't pierce through this tanky setup of the Hurricane. Feels at this point we're going to have to take that Giganti logo and wedge it between the words EU and NA because that's how things are starting to look. This is consistently going to the side of Hurricane, just constantly refuting every single attack. Anything that Fusion University are finding, they are dealing with it in the final minute. Who are you is going to bring out a new pick. We haven't seen that this weekend. It's going to be the Farah. Well, you got to try something here. And who are you? He is a pretty good Farah, but pulling it out last moment, you haven't been practicing it. This could be a stretch even for the Fusion. Early Pulse Bomb Stick coming on out. Doesn't get the kill. Alarm, though, under pressure. Healed up by Elk. Elk 
ends up sacrificing himself to keep Alarm in the fight. Beast Halo already down. And who are you? Not Whoa. using too much as far as Kim turns this into a slaughterhouse right on the side. The whole hog laying down the bacon. Who are you? Completely isolated from Elf, finds himself getting dropped by Happy Call. Cool. And it feels now this is just hunting for fun as they trace down the final few members, stagger Fusion University out, and with 20 seconds left on the clock, this could be over before we know it. 15 seconds remaining, the Hurricane on the verge of a first point hold, showing their companions across the pond how Quad Tank is played. That sentence caused me this pain. <laughs> I saw you win as you said. It, it, it's not easy, but the self destructor on top, half looking for the bomb. God, what help! Elk, what a pickoff to start off the fight. Sound Bear coming in here for the Hurricane now, and that might be all they need to solidify. The Fusion are dropping one by one by one. Overtime. Commiseration kill, we should say, to Craggy there, but nope, Hurricane will reign supreme. It's 2 0 going into the half. So, I need to warn our viewers right now about our halftime show that's not our normal PG rated programming. No, our desk is going to be rated I for insufferable. Insufferable and about as suffering, as much suffering as you, Fusion University experienced during these two maps. I gotta say, man, we'll find it's okay. We'll find someone you can talk to afterwards to get those hard feelings out. We'll look after you. We're if very not, accommodating here in EU. I don't know how much it costs to hire a therapist for a uh, cross-Atlantic flight after this, because I, I might need one. I know just the guy for you. His okay. name begins with T, it ends in D, and he's sat on the desk. Oh, boy. Well, guys, we're going to go to a break. I'm going to try and recover my pride. So will Fusion. We'll be right back. Quad tank, quad tank, quad tank, quad tank, quad tank, quad tank, quad tank. ZP has finally learnt that strength. It's getting a little bit hot in here, Trid. Yeah, it's, it's a bit. I think I might have caught that virus that ZP was talking about, that uh, quad tank virus. I'm, I'm going to be okay, though. I think I'll live. I'm really glad you're going to be okay, because if you went over to Fusion and asked them for the vaccine, turns out they don't have it, Jameson. <laughs> I mean, Dr. Bucket is trying to treat them, but they don't know what the answer is. I mean, they have to continue these clinical trials at this point, but it looks like quad tank is the answer here. <laughs> how, do you, how do you negotiate that quad tank, though? Because I think Hurricane is trying to prove a point here. They're going, look, we play quad tank, we play it well, and you do not have the answer. I think that they even defying their own strats in this instance because they were running quad tank in places we haven't seen them run quad tank before which raises the question just why are they doing it 
I think it is a point of contention, particularly not to stick it to NA, but I think maybe to stick it to ZP, who has been a fervent opponent against Quad Tank. But like I said, you know, we butt heads and I said, hey, Quad Tank with the likes of Kib and these people who have amazing Roadhogs, we even saw Craggy on it, can make that engine go. If we jump back to map number one, though, let's let's chat a little bit about Hurricane, because it was surprising to see them run that Sombrasa on the first point. Yeah, Sombrasa was a surprise to me anyway. I thought they were just going to roll that quad tank, or run, not necessarily quad tank, but run the tankier compositions, especially on Ilios, where I feel like it's maybe underpowered. And it was very close in that first map. We saw 99% to 100, 91% to 100 score lines, but then in the final map in Ruins, which honestly I thought Hurricane would lose just because from a stylistic point of view, they actually came out and had the most dominant performance on Ilios. But we saw there from Kib's point of view, Roadhog is the engine that makes quad tank work. He is the main source of damage, unless, of course, you're fusions and you're just swinging on everybody. But for the most part, you get that hook, you get the elimination, and you continue that snowball with the quad tank. You want to talk about damage? Let's talk about Funny Astro. We were saying it ourselves in the talent room, watching that series. The amount of frags this guy was getting, he was earning the title of Funny Aggro. I think at one point, the kill feed was filled with just Funny Astro, with the boops, with the kills. It was fantastic display from the Hurricane supports. I do. I am having a little bit of a chuckle because it is very clear we are in Poland, which means the audience is also somewhat biased and we've got a <laughs> stack of the players from the semi-finals running behind us with signs. We know where, where their allegiances lie, but one of the things I want to chat about with Fusion University, Jameson, is because when you control their pace, you tend to control them a bit. If they come out in map three very aggressive and, and moving at that fast pace, is Hurricane going to be able to answer them? Surely there is a way to take down that quad tank. The biggest stylistic difference that I was actually um, keyed in on by uh, some of the coaches and analysts that are here is that, you know, NA and Euro uh, the European region play quad tank differently. NA, of course, because we're rebellious, like to run our rogue Roadhogs, but instead you saw Kib sticking tight with the rest of the unit. And so we don't, uh, the, the European tanks, they don't have that glaring weakness where you have a weakness where like the Roadhog is off by himself. Kib, with my staying with the rest of his team, he's not leaving himself vulnerable. And there are no windows for Fusion University to actually go in and attack. And I think that's one of the problems with, well, one of the reasons why Hurricane are actually running this composition is because I don't think they can still handle the dive. Yes, they were competent in the Sombracer matchup, but you saw how much difficulty Fusion University players like Alarm were giving Craggy and Kip. They couldn't l quite lock him down. He was getting the counter frags into them as well. I think Quad Tank is just kind of maybe compensating some of the weaknesses in what could be a dive you dive matchup. This is your show match. It is the Atlantic Showdown Europe versus North America. It is a best of five, which means British Hurricane one last push and you can win this competition. We are going to take a short break and when we return, ZP and Dez are taking over and poor ZP may have to swallow some of his words again. The damage available. And Boyer has so much ability to be able to just get away from players like Lynxer on the Tracer. Now, getting very close, building up the old, and there it is. Oh, okay, the Coalescence coming out here. Jay Hong's just giving the Houston outlaws oh. a good hosing down. Oh, they're clean indeed. But that push from Soul was nothing but dirty. I'll tell you what, I might be known for my appetite, but swallowing my own words on this one, that might be more than I can bear. So I can tell you what here does, the number that I look forward to is five, because that's the way that Fusion can bring the, themselves out of here. A reverse sweep ending in map number five. Absolutely. The big problem from in the here is that we're heading into Horizon Luna Colony, and we spoke a lot on the desk on cast as well about how favored this map seems to be towards tank heavy strats. So I'll be honest with you for Fusion, I want to see them pull this back. I think you guys have got more pride than being 3 0 here in the show match. I think there's something in this for you. So I'm with you. I'm rooting with you. If I had an NA flag, I'd wave it very, very lightly. Not heavy enough that I look like I'm doing a full conversion, but I'm with you on this one. Looking into your eyes right now. You, you didn't mean any of those words. You didn't mean a single word. <laughs> You're lying to my face right now. That makes me cry on the inside. I know it like duplicates the pain you're experiencing right now, so I don't know, man. Maybe it's just it's, it's just something. We're good friends at this stage. We, we can have this kind of joke. We're friends, but you are ready to just explode in laughter at my expense. Hey, I'd be laughing at my expense too, because Hurricane have brought it to the Fusion University, and they are defending the pride of EU. But can they put 
Fusion University away. We're headed to the moon, which is oddly familiar right now with where we've been casting. <laughs> Absolutely. you got to say, this venue has been fantastic. It does literally, when we first saw the pictures, we were like, this is basically Horizon Lunar Colony. It's what makes it so fun. So it's quite apt, maybe, that the journey ends here. Well, the journey very well could end, which would mean that the Hurricane would not only go home as the champions of EU, but also have some bragging rights to last at least until Contenders Season 2, where the NA side would have some time to either, well, adapt and learn the Cowards of Quad Tank, or in the worst timeline, use Quad Tank. <laughs> Well, we've seen some whisperings of it this weekend, right? A few scrims against some EU teams, it caused some inspiration. Now we've got to see it be really cemented in the meta. Imagine, in the world that we live in, if it turned into NA contenders playing a lot of quad tank and that then bubbled its way up into the Overwatch League. Could you imagine? I mean, if you want to take responsibility for that complete devastation, then yes. Maybe, well done. Maybe London Spear, uh, Spitfire take some inspiration from Hurricane and go, hey, this actually works quite well. Let's see if we can beat the Meta Breakers in Overwatch League and bring something new to the table. Oh, I'm not ready for that storyline. Of course, Brigida might have a bit to say about that anyways. But guys, we're here and now. We are here on Alvernia Planet and the British Hurricane looking to finish off Fusion University here and now. Once again, rocking out with that Quad Tank University going again outbound towards the Anna. We've seen him play it very well. Going for the, I like to call this the Giganti strategy, just giving us a moment of peace outside, peace in our time as everyone ventures outside. Of course, not much air out there, so they won't want to stay outside too long, but let's see how they can make it happen when they come and try and breach onto this point. Space, no one can hear you when you get hooked into a Roadhog. That's such a big try and say. And British Hurricane able to easily saunter onto the point. Fusion did not do much to actually cut them off at the pass here. Hurricane. They're nice and healed up here. Bach is in the back, and Who Are You is down. The major threat that could have derailed this out of the fight, and the Hurricane might be rolling their way to a very easy first point take. If Fusion University can dance along for, around for long enough, Zachary's not too far away from this EMP, but that's two members now down. Beast Halo, or Beast Halo, Halo as we've taken to calling him being picked up, and the rest of Hurricane will roll through. Zachary does get the D-Mech, but his team have been wiped out. You know, I want it off this ride, and this ride is seemingly speeding up because that was a ridiculously fast take for the Hurricane. Fusion University just did not have the answer to that quad tank setup. Seven minutes of potential torture coming through for you here, ZP. Looking at the ultimates online, there's more currently going for Fusion University, it feels. You've got to say with Quad Tank, there is a lot of health there to be depleted to feed the ult charge of the enemy team. So Fusion University can keep on playing and just making these fights last a little bit longer. If Zachary can get these EMPs online, they have a very perfect opportunity to shut down Hurricane and start winning some fights. I'm hoping for the seven minutes of torture. That means Fusion would have held here in this case. A hack though on the half of Cole early on, gonna limit his mobility, and Fusion get a much better engage here, fueled by Crackalack and get him right into the back. An excellent ult usage as well. They only had to use the one. The EMP was enough for them to win this fight and send Hurricane back in, and they've got four ultimates online, including that nano boost if required. A little bit of cleanup by Fusion there at the end. And Hurricane will be back to the drawing board. And that might have been the last ride for the quad tank here. They're showing the signs of swapping off. Although it does look like Craig at the very least will wait to the grab time. I imagine this goes to the 3-1, which we've seen out of them quite a few times previously, where they had Kib on the Genji, for example, on Numbani, whilst the rest of the team ran tank. They just make try and make use of the Sombra to go for the real tank buster, or the setup buster, as you might call it, on the side of Fusion University. Buck, under pressure, backs off, Colossians loaded. Likely going to be using this to aid Fusions here in just a moment. It's their main support ult, and they're going to use it. The Colossians here in the beginning. The barrier built up right after. Self-destruct heading in, doesn't connect with much. Meanwhile, Fusions holding on to the Earth Shatter. Craggy has the Graviton, but the Earth Shatter connects with nothing. Absolutely nada. You see the Graviton coming late, also not going to pick up anything. So the ult of the Hurricane, tank line, not doing what they want here. And yet the Nana Boost and Crackalacken just being a wall, taking down two, Zachary in up the flank, and the Hurricane now might want to consider swapping things up. There he goes, that fight kind of dragged down a little bit. Fusion University found the space they were after. It was a bit scary when you saw a Crusade bring out the sound barrier and you had shield charged tanks tear towards you. But they're looking towards Kib right now. Kib is 15% away from having that EMP and we've already seen what Zachary can do with EMPs on this map. They can mix things up and try and get a big playoff. They've got that bomb combo from Happy Call and Kib. That could be their win condition. I think you're right here, where they would be looking for that EMP directly in the self-destruct. But if Fusion backs away, plays the train to their advantage, they won't give them that setup because they're not clumping up the way that team running heavy tanks would. Nice sleep early on coming from Elk on the back line. And you see, who are you? Laying damage in the back. Pulse Bomb gonna miss. 
And yes, it might not matter for this fight. It's a late EMP coming out here from Kib, but Fusion University able to stand most of the worst of it. Yes, who are you and Crackalacken are down, but they still have four up and look to Alarm. About to get Trendset as up in fight. He's probably going to use it immediately here and does. Rolls onto the point and now Fusion can stabilize and that's a May on the field. We've got the May on the field as well to try and trap some of the Hurricane in, but it's not going to work out as Beast Halo will get dropped down. Out comes the grab, trying to catch in several members. They even managed to bring down Zachary. And the big part there, Beast Halo wasn't able to primal range before he got picked off. He thought he was safe. He wasn't. Hurricane off of those tank ults, now starting to pry things open. They have one tick, they're going for more. Two ticks, soon to be in their future. Beast Halo though, drops onto the point. Primal Rage up, needs to stay on the point, otherwise they'll get the tick for free as he's bouncing in and around. But he chased down Kib. They haven't given up the second tick, they get back on just in time, and Fusion might be holding on yet. It may well just be the longer these fights are going on, the more it's time to come in favor because one of those body grenades landing down just gives the Fusion University so much time to pile in and deal with the British Hurricane setup while they don't have enough heals. And that was so close for the Hurricane. You take a look at the progress, 64.9%, a mere percent and a point away from getting that. Fusion barely dodging that one. Now it's got the Nano Boost online again, and we've seen him use it once earlier on. It was on to Kraken Lacking, expected it to be Beast Halo, but clearly thinking the Diva there had more opportunity to make something happen off the back of the grab. So maybe now we're trying to ride on Simo once again for British Hurricane to make use of Kib's EMP. It has just come online, but he's gone. Kib out of the fight immediately, and now you see Fusion University getting a little bit of their swagger back. Diving on in. Who are you? Already deep into the back line, looking the D-Mac happy. The Hurricane split up right now. Yes, they have two support ults, but do you really want to use this while down Kib, but they're waiting. They're waiting for Kib to come back in. This could turn their favor if he gets a good EMP. Double support ults online for both sides as well. So actually quite a lot of defensive power here. It just depends, like you say, on whether or not that EMP comes out. Big Happy gonna take a very, very quick nap before the action continues once again. They're gonna chase down Beast Halo here, but the hack is gonna stop him getting finished off. Hurricane playing it slow right now. Kib dropped the EMP in the back. Now they're gonna try moving in the other side. I'm not sure the EMP did enough though. Beast Halo feels the rage, feels the power. Nano boosted in, making room here, disrupting the Hurricane and yet not killing them. The Hurricane's still really healthy. Craggy builds up the grab top in fight, drops the beat. Where's the grab? Self destructs in the back. Fusions blocks it and the grab comes in. The Hurricane playing this masterfully here so far. Alarm. The late transcendence doesn't quite save it. University still trying to fight this back. Who are you in the flank looking for Craggy? Healed up though, Bach is all over him. And the Hurricane now looking for another tick. Still finding it so hard because Fusion University is so mobile. They are rejoining this fight in rapid time and there is no way that Hurricane can win these fights against them twice. Quad Tank is very good for its initial taking of points and that initial fight that you get into. But if you have to fight the same team twice, chances are you aren't going to be able to kill them all. Are you saying a wheel is coming off the bus for this one last ride? Quite possibly. Although I would never say it's fully Quad Tank because we do of course have Kib on the Sombra. So our record for Quad Tank remains intact. For the first point, but they did play it in this map, and right now Fusion showing some new life. Might be able to bring this matchup a little bit more in contest. Meanwhile, Bach, Coalescence up, the crowd getting pumped for the Hurricane, the EU representatives, but what a what bio a nade! Oh my goodness, where's your healing now? Kim, though, drops the EMP, limiting the damage, and they turn what could have been a bounty into disaster as the Hurricane fight on through. Doesn't matter that Elk hit that because Kim gets a cleanup and more. Where's your healing now? Well, there's no need for the healing as Hurricane do manage to complete. It takes them a solid six and a half minutes, but Fusion University have got a mountain ahead of them. Legend has it that Elk looked to the side and said, Team? Because that was a very nice bio nade. It was a very nice bio nade. Unfortunately, it wasn't quite enough for them to be able to clean up and do away with the Hurricane one more time because if they won that fight, chances are Hurricane would have had a very rushed final push to try and take that second point away, but didn't find themselves with the opportunity or with the need, I should say. There was no reason for them to have to push again because, well, we saw exactly what happened. They managed to wipe out Fusion University and they claimed that second point. Now we get to see if Fusion University can reclaim their former glory here because that was a very respectable defense. They drained all time but 36 seconds and we've seen Fusion set lightning fast times on this map. Meanwhile, we look to what Hurricane is playing here, and Hurricane might have gotten off their own wild ride. They're running a defense here that's a little bit more standard, where I think they feel there's blood in the water, and they want to put Fusion away now. Absolutely, and Bach was seeing him going across onto the Anna, and we said Elk is the big guy from NA who plays Anna, and on our side of the pond, well, you've got Bach and his Anna. He is the dark playing Anna. Let's see what he can make 
Oh, we'll see how he can make this one work out for them. We already saw on the first round, let's not forget though, on Ilios, they didn't go really uh, fare too well in the matchup compositions when we saw the Sunbracer coming back up against Fusion. Well, it didn't end so well for EU, so maybe there is some light at the end of this tunnel for Fusion University. You know, I do feel like there's some hint synergy there where you become a medical doctor in real life and you go, I want to support people in video games. Why stop people from dying in real life when I can stop them from dying in my video game competitions? It's this like, hey. guy is just out to save the world. What do you say? What grand global ambition he's got? Uh, I mean, what if this is sort of a Ready Player One uh, type situation or, <laughs> you know, reboot where people are actually, like, the, inside the game, these people are real. He's saving real lives, we just don't even know it. Well, given eSports a bad name, I haven't yet seen that film. I need to see it. One day, one day, but the crowd getting pumped. They want to see a big hold here from the British Hurricane. See just how they can manage it here. Fusion University coming out with the Sombra Tracer setup where expect to see Zachary where you go on the side, but the pressure already mounting on these flankers. I was trying to get in there and cause some havoc, especially on Craggy. We all know he's quite a proficient tracer, but you've got to worry about Kib on the Sombra as well. Kib getting that early kill on the Zachary, and that just delays things for Fusion, where they want to come in lightning fast, and instead they have to wait. Who are you even has to wait for the top off here in the moment? But now, Fusion University gets to go again. <laughs> He's looking towards who gets that nano boost online first, because that could be the big opportunity for one of the two Winstons to jump in and go to town on the enemy backline. Of course, got to be very wary of those sleep darts, mind you. It's, very, it's been a long time since we've seen a big Animeta. And there we go. Kraken Lackin and Beast Taylor both trying to get into the back line. Not really with too much healing on their backs, though. They're not going to find themselves able to hang around for too long. Beast Taylor was able to get away, though. He's still alive. Who are you? Under pressure. Rewinds just in time. Fusion on the way back in, and he got Fusions! Killing his doppelganger of his team, as it were, if it wasn't confusing enough, as Crack Lacken comes in on the top. The double take of fusion reuniting here over and on as who are you decimates the back line, crusades out of there, and the fusion looking to take this first point. He definitely can't contest that Fusion's dive is looking very, very good against British Hurricane. Almost at the stage that maybe there's some learning to be done for both teams here. NA looking at these tank based compositions and saying we've got something we can take away from this. And for Hurricane, well, they are quite consistently losing fights against this dive setup from Fusion. So I have to ask you, and this is very early to be building this narrative, but I like gambling right now. Uh, let me ask you this, uh, does Trid feel fear? Does he feel the turnaround that might be happening here as Fusion has gotten first point quickly, six minutes ago to set a better time? Trid fears no man, but I think everyone in EU fears alarm at this stage. We've seen what this guy can do all day. We've seen the heads he's taken off. Even Craggy said, I do not fancy facing that guy in a 1v1, and you can understand why. Well, Zachary gets taken down here. Even though he got Crusade, they had that suicide pack towards the very end. And that works out in favor of the defense. Trade outs always better for the defense in these situations. And oh my goodness, Alarm gonna be investing the transcendence here. Don't think that was a good move, and yet they get more two more pickoffs. It might work. Craggy in trouble. Barely able to rewind away, but rewinds away that he demex Cracklacken, and that should be enough for the hurricane. Respawn's coming out, and Craggy in the immortal, the Highlander, as it were, fears no man. This is like a game of see how long you keep a 150 HP hero alive for, and the answer seems to be for Hurricane is a long time. And look at their ult bar. This is probably the first time in all of Contenders all weekend we have seen all six ultimates online for a team. Wow. You are not wrong. That is one fully loaded war chest for the Hurricane. They can manage it well. They can burn a lot of time off this clock. Let's see what they're trying to do there. Fusion, gonna try and make it work. They're switching Zachary over to the McCree, and we saw what he could do earlier on. He's already got hold of Craggy. Well, that's about all he's gonna do as he meets Steve in a dark alley, and last thing he heard was, hiya, and down he went. Well, Happy New Year. Happy something, where I don't know if he wants to stick on this McCree. I mean, they did do it earlier on today, so I do think this is Fusion's main plan here, but time is quickly passing them by. It's a tough one, but I think trying to change things up is always a wise idea. If what you're trying doesn't work, then just change things out and try something different. But for Hurricane, they too have noticed the change coming out of University, and they've got Kip across onto Genji. Meanwhile, Nano Boost on early, but who are you taken down? Crusade caught him on the flip side, and that is the signal to go. You just see the dive coming in from the Hurricane, and they make this push a non-starter for the Fusion University. He at least managed to review, review them for at least a short amount of time here, but Hurricane is still holding on to so many of these ultimates, yet consistently winning fights. We're down to halfway into the time bank EP. There's four minutes to go for Hurricane to hold out to claim this series 3-0. The weird thing is that four minutes is a lot of time. You should be, yeah, that's fine. The way this match is going right now, 
doesn't feel fine even remotely. Hurricane there in total control. You probably need a good 20 minutes, I think, to be able to close this one out with the way that Hurricane are playing so far. Like I said, they're investing next to no ultimates in these fights, yet still consistently winning. It's really good ult management for them. It's good self-control, and it's making Fusion fight tooth and nail for any advantage they want to get right now. And this engage. Oh, they got Bach. Alarm opens the door. Now's the time to make British Hurricane spend some of that cash. And we'll see if they do it here. Fusion University moving on in. Craggy off to the side, under pressure from Who Are You. The Tracer View Tracer battle just taking place over net. We see Craggy now looking for Crack Lackin. He's getting healed. He's dealing with the Tracer pressure, but he's still going to get demacked. Uses the self destruct, though. Zones out Craggy. Should be able to repack. And Fusion now, their best opportunity they've had on that blog. But here's Kib, and he has a blade. Zachary's got out as well, his own ultimate trying to find a target, but there is no one to be found. Here comes Kid with another boosted blade of his own. Blade to the back, looking for Elk. Elk goes, see ya, dashes the other way. Alarm what? goes, no you don't have a blade for long enough, and chases Kim off. Meanwhile, on the point, it's Fusions making room with Craggy. It didn't matter in the end. The blade was merely a distraction. That whole time it was ticking over, though, they've managed to find themselves two ticks onto this final point. So only one more fight. That's all they need to do and take this point away from Hurricane to force us into another overtime round. But like you say, it's definitely been a slog trying to get to this stage so far. And the problem here is that unless Alarm is able to get another pick off like he did, or Who Are You can find Crusade, they don't have much of an edge here. They're going to have to waste about a fight or two to get a good time. And that's going to mean they will essentially have time be done. Still. We see Fusion moving in, looking for the opportunity. A bio nade in from downtown. Bach going, I can play on it too. And Zachary, unable to be healed, simply gone. He was there one second, the next, poof. No idea what happened to him. Of course we know what happened. He got melted. It seems to be the recurring thing coming through for Fusion University. Now down to two minutes in that half time we had two minutes ago. That's been halved yet again in Hurricane. They're probably feeling pretty confident. They've got Crusade, but that is the only ultimate they have online. Everything else has been burnt. But Bok on fire is about to have that Nano Boost back online. And Kib, look at that blaze. A minute 40 left and supporters of NA, you might need a miracle right now. I know I'm wishing for one, but my wishes are rarely answered. Let me tell you that. Sometimes with a sad life. Fusion University, though, looking for their opportunity here. A minute 30 left. Fusion's going to be taken down, but it's a Winston trade that's still fine for the game. But who are you on the other side? Now starting to open the door. Zachary looking for Kim just in one more shot. The res is back up. Fusion trying to make the most. A minute 15 left. It is the nano boost of the blade, though. It's going to be Kim trying to get into the bat line, but instantly oh. denied by Alarm. Still managed to get Zachary even through that one, but cannot catch up to the Mercy. Not quite enough. Kib, on the other hand, off the save here. Going to be pushing Fusion back one more time. Fusion University, one minute away from bragging rights for you. At least until next season. This needs to be a thing that we pass over every single time we have these contenders players. Fresh Hurricane looking very good right now. Fusion University on the ropes. I don't know what you come to expect, but they've got a few ults online at very least. They've got that pulse bomb, and we've seen these fight-changing pulse bombs come out of so many players, both in Contenders and Overwatch League, and we always speak about the space denial that oh. self struck and give. Now that Craggy is gone, that is the edge from Hurricane gone. And they have to take advantage of it. This is the final opportunity they'll get. They need one tick. 25 seconds left on the clock. Fusion University moving in. They got Bach! Who are you connected with the pulse bomb on the other side? And Crack Lacken, he's got a bigger payload here. Has a self-destruct ready, and he's just gonna drop in the payload. Where are you gonna go? You're going oh, nowhere! Yeah. Blown up! Craggy, though, had something to say. Got two on the other side. Fusion, final opportunities. The res is up, and we still have a match. Only just. And it took the full time duration to make it work with just a few seconds left over. One minute 30 in the time bank for British Hurricane and one minute for Fusion. This is it, ZP. It comes down to one more round. Well, that is appropriate for a series that has been defined by the phrase one last ride. So either way, we'll see how this works. This is the beginning of a comeback where Fusion gets to reunite with their long lost love, the number five. Or is this merely a stopping where EU will be looking to this match for months yet to come. I think regardless of the outcome, both teams have to look back at this because there is so much to learn for both regions. And yes, they've been scrimming and getting that learning over the last few days. But in this kind of situation, 
both teams, the two champions of each region. Imagine the information that you take away from this if you aren't one of those top two teams. You can look at this and see what they've been playing, what both teams have been playing, what you can learn to potentially try and expose weaknesses in the Hurricane setup from a team that plays something completely different to the style that you're used to. If nothing else, it is a lesson in versatility training where regardless of your thoughts on how viable this is, whether you're cross-referencing OWL or not, it does mean that you got to be prepared for anything depending on the circumstance, and that's a lesson that might not be taught at Fusion University. Uh, maybe they need to revise the syllabus at Fusion University because clearly what they're teaching ain't good enough to bring down the Hurricane this time round. But maybe, just maybe, in these final 60 seconds, they can make it happen. Let's find out as they go for the matching comps once again, going towards that Sunbracer dive. Fusion University moving toward the crowd, clearly behind the Hurricane here. Now we'll see. Who are you and Zachary beginning their approach here? Craggy checking who are you and every mod. Oh my goodness, Bach almost put who are you in the grave. The auto pressure from over the top, but who are you? Find this place at the point. Progress now being made. He's going to draw people back. He has to dash back it up. Nope, no help there. It's been hacked. No mega for you today, my friend. Try and find another one. Well, Hurricane still holding the high ground. We saw them do this for most of the last round. The superior dive did come out of fusion in this exact style, and they managed to push Hurricane back and take the point. And here's the thing, Hurricane's tying back, and oh, Craggy got picked off. Now Fusion University, they're going to rotate over to the point. This is the opening they were waiting for. Hurricane, they have to fight this. What a bio name! Ana versus Ana, Elk rising high, and Fusion University getting some sorely needed momentum. Who needs DPS when your supports can bring down half of the enemy team and win you the first point? That is big work coming out of both Elk and Alarm, and they've got the Nano Boost to roll with alongside the Primal Rage about to come online for Beast Halo. 30 seconds. Fusion University, 30 seconds left here, but they can make a big impact now. Elk, the Nano Boost is ready. Who has he put it on here? Likely Beast Halo. They're going to try and go for this final push, and it took them a good six minutes last time round. It's going to be a big tall order, but if they can make it work, it's now. Oh, gets Crusade immediately with the Ada Zachary. What a coordinated dive in for Fusion. And Beast Halo might not be done yet. Laying down the electricity. Needs to Primal Rage at the right time and does. Buys up plenty of time here for Fusion. They're looking for one magical tick here at the point. Even just one would be big. They don't have it yet, but the self-destruct makes the room. There's the tick, 44%, and they're not done yet. The Hurricane might be weakening before our eyes. The wind's just not quite strong enough. And Fusion University, unchecked momentum here when it matters most. Still trying to fight their way back on here. Hurricane of Panikin as all of Fusion University are bringing down these key members. Out comes the double support ultimate once again. Really working out here for the University. They're close to the second tick, and it piles on. Elk being a DPS support at the same time. Beast Halo stopping his way on in, and that transcendence goes over, and so does Crusade's life. British Hurricane on the wall here, and the Fusion, they're not done yet. That's the last thing I expected to see with 20 seconds on the clock is for them to take away that second point. But Hurricane found themselves getting caught out. And I've got to say, that whole round, you have to give over to the impact of Elk. The number of times he was in that kill feed was insane. Elk had a ridiculous round there. And I mean, look, it's been a good day for Elk to begin with. We brought him up plenty of times on cast where he's had great positioning, rarely picked off early. But sometimes you got to take matters into your own hands and just go, I will kill the entire other team. I have learned from Alarm. He won't take the spotlight from me anymore. I've got to say, two very scary support players for Fusion University. But you know what else is scary, ZP? The thing of your nightmares. All you got to look at is the lineup that British Hurricane are currently considering to try and show once more why EU loves these tank-based compositions. You know, you're saying that jokingly, but when I look back two weeks from now, I wonder why I've had a good night's sleep in that same time period. It's going to be this comment. It's going to be looking at this wall of beefiness from the British Hurricane. Can't handle this, man. It's like walking into a weather spoons at 2 a.m. and looking for a bad time. That, that's all I'm seeing right now. Oh, it's so terrifying. I was saying to Trip when we were sat in the, in the side room earlier on, it's scary enough when you have a D.Va just flying directly at you and micro-missiles firing away. When you have four tanks being sped boost by a Lucio, that's truly the definition of fear. I'm feeling the fear right now. I will tell you that much. It is going to be a long rest of the night if Fusion drops us here. But Fusion, a little bit trickiness of their own. Look where Elk is right now. Oh, no. Oh, no. That, that was not good. Elk got... Elk is still alive, but probably not for long. The trickiness ends up in disaster. The world's easiest first point tank likely on the way for the Hurricane. You cannot fool these men. I can understand the creativity being brought here, but you just can't 
can't out fool a composition that plays together as a group unit. If you can catch one man in a three-man situation like Fusion were going for, then great. Maybe they didn't expect this full quad tank to come out, but here it is, and Hurricane are rolling over this first point. All I gotta say is for Chet makes enough NA brain memes to begin with without that happening. Like, guys, come on, you just like, they'll never expect us to put the Ana in a corner directly at them. Directly on the path where the quad tank is going to proceed. And Claire and get their way towards this second point. They've now got a minute and five seconds to clear out this point, and they're looking towards those tank ultimates to come online to make this happen. This is a big moment for the Hurricane where they can match the second take that Fusion just had. They have momentum on their side, a Coalescence ready to go. However, the Fusion University, they do have the EMP. So Zachary, truly the one to watch here. He's gonna wait for them to turn around the side and drop down like Batman with a special device. There they are, where's Zachary? Not going here just yet, he's waiting. Crouching dragon hitting Sombra. Doesn't even work, but the EMP does. Drops it down in the moment. There's the pulse bomb, and it's doing enough damage here for his hurricane super low, and they're just not able to sustain. Looks like this might be going to fall back, but anyway, ZP, there is 20 seconds left on the clock, and it's such a shame because look at all the ultimates on the side of British Hurricane. They might not even get the opportunity to use them. No, they're not, because there's travel time involved here. Their tanks are not particularly fast. Yeah, you can speed boost here towards the end, but is it going to be enough? Fusion gets hacked. You can't even charge onto the point. But now, they charge. Drop the speed. They're speeding on in. Okay, you have to eat a lot of damage early on, but the Coalescence backs it up. Hammer down. Beast Halo was raging. Now sent to the other side, but he's pretty tanky. Feeling it moving in around as he gets juggled by Kim. Beast Halo takes a whole load of buckshot there as the Hurricane come in style once more. They've managed to make it work. Thanks to the speed boost coming out of Crusade, but this is the final door opportunity now. They're finding themselves caught in the middle of their search. Alarms, Transcendence runs out, and this could be the opportunity for Hurricane to take it through all the way. The Transcendence did enough, though. It bought enough time. Respawns are coming back in for Fusion. Elk and Beast Halo doing work as Elk once more pops off on Ana. Kill after kill coming in from that support in the back. Who are you? Well supported here, and the Fusion take their first map of the series. Bye. Goodness, this series not over yet. The NAEU battle continues. We always make reference to that ride. We never really said what the ride was. In this case, it's a bit of a roller coaster. Going two maps up to British Hurricane to begin with, and then Fusion University finally turning around and at least give you something to go home with. Oh, well, look, if it's a roller coaster, it explains why I basically threw up my lunch in between the break. But hey, things are all good right now, and things might be a little bit sunny. I heard the last part of the ride was actually pretty pleasant. Seems to be that way so far, but have faith, my EU brethren. This is not over yet. We have more maps to come, and I'm looking forward to seeing what they bring out on the next one. Not quite sure where we're going yet. Could be Junkertown, in which case you'll get the Hurricane Special. Well, the Hurricane Special, we'll just have to see what that is. But guys, the show match, it's not over yet. We got map four coming at you, but it's after the break.
Historically, it took some time to defy Imperial rule, and history might be repeating itself here once more as the Fusion looked to write a new declaration of independence, fighting back right now against the British Hurricane. Just gotta remind you guys, this is where everything began, it's where it's and we are the circle of life. And we are gonna remind you guys exactly what it means to play real Overwatch. You're gonna see more Quad Tank, I have absolutely no doubt in my mind. And to be honest with you, I'm fully expecting this to go to Junkertown next. And you call this real Overwatch, and that is a grim reality, my friend. But I do think Junkertown is where we might be going. Let's see if you're right, and it is. We're going to Australia after it got nuked. They nuked themselves. Yeah, quite ironically leaving EU to go and show you guys how to play tanks once again. But hey, Junkertown is Hurricane's go-to map. We spoke about it earlier on in their grand final, and we were speaking about saying they're not really the team that goes to something like Dorado. They will always pick Junkertown if they have the option, I suppose you could say. And in this case, they've got the option. They lost the last map. It's all a ruse, my friend. They gave that last map to Fusion so they could show them just how to play Junkertown. Oh, really? So the entire thing was to give false confidence, where you want to... Absolutely. You guys live off your hopes and dreams. We've got to give you something to ride on, right? Well, you know what? I think our hopes and dreams have somewhere to go here. Might be a little bit of underestimation, or maybe this is wishful thinking on my part, because let me tell you, reverse sweeps don't happen all that often. And yet, the same note, the Fusion do have an uncanny attachment to the number five. They do. I believe they were one of the teams that went 3-2 and two through pretty much most of the regular season, giving you guys a real good show every single time it came around to casting them. Maybe they're in for the same thing here. Maybe they're the ones who've been holding back since the very, very start, just to say, let's give the Europeans a bit of hope, and then we'll show them exactly how we play dive here in NA. You know what? I can get on board that story. I think for once, I absolutely agree with you. Well played, sir. I'm glad that you didn't see the lies behind my eyes that time either. Oh, I just purposely <laughs> didn't. Put I wasn't even looking you in the eye. That's where we're at right now. I, I remember a time where I could look you in the eye, but not anymore. Not after today. Uh oh. We'll go and sit in that room so we'll be like, uh, Junkrat exists, right? That was your saying all weekend, Junkrat I exists. Do these teams know that Junkrat exists? And we said to you, well, don't you think EU teams have tried this? And they did for a week or two until they realized, actually, Junkrat isn't the be-all and end-all answer to tank-based compositions. Well, the interesting thing, of course, those are the teams that said it. Every NA team came in and said, Junkrat exists. But Junkrat does not exist right now. Fusion has not really trended towards playing him. Of course, I don't think it's Zachary's favorite hero in the world. Meanwhile, what is this? Magic, my friend. We're about to enlighten you to another style of play that you have not yet seen. I can just envision all of you guys on the plane on the way back just rocking, sucking your thumbs back and forth. Junkrat exists. Junkrat exists. Attackers Junkrat exists. That is going to be your motto for life, or at least until the next scene of the contender starts, and then uh, you see Quad Tank is a thing. I mean, to a degree, but also, they're not running. Junkrats! There, there is a plan here. They need you to coach them. You need to go out there and say, guys, you've got to take this seriously now. Our priority is on the line. It's time to go for Junkrat. But you know what? Even they are hopping on this final crazy ride. They're going for it themselves. You know what? A victory is a victory. How does this make you feel? It makes me feel somewhat dirty. It makes me feel unclean. I'm not sure there's a shower strong enough here to wash that away, but we'll worry about those implications later as Fuji University is coming out with a quad take of their own. Just and they're going straight in! Away. They're doing it! They're doing the EU strategy of piling in and trying to murder everyone. Craggy is still alive for the time being, but the health bar is below 100. He's about to get pumped out, but it's not to be. <laughs> and you just see a diva looking at your face going higher, but the defensive matrix eventually falls. Craggy laying in the damage. The Bastion was ready. The meat keeps on falling. And Fusion University did not study well in their quad take class. They absolutely did not, clearly. They were the ones going on a bit of a roam around during lesson time, you might say, not reading up on their study notes. In this case, you've got to say for any team from EU, they play against a lot of quad tanks. They've got answers to this kind of thing. And so far, it's in the form of a Bastion with that tank formation. This is how democracy dies. Not with the dream, but with the meme. That's what we might be looking at here as the Hurricane very tightly packed around this Bastion. New policy. Hurricane is president. We'll say shifty the coaches. Every team must play quad tank. Let's see right. how they can make this work. They're healing up Craig. He has the beam of healing behind him. Moves into tank. Just Pummel Zachary with one shell to the face. And the artillery ride not stopping yet. Four kills for Woo! the Hurricane, and they blow the Fusion away. Oh, what can I say? That's definitely one way with dealing with what Fusion were throwing at them. They did switch off of that quad tank pretty immediately back over to the more comfortable full dive, which we've seen coming out of these guys time and time again. I'm dead curious to see how long British Hurricane choose to stay by this pirate ship as Captain Craggy is at the helm. Captain Craggy, known for running a tight ship, uh, quite literally, very much uh, likes his entire crew around him at all times. The buddy system well in play. However, a self-destruct here 
if aimed well with a little bit of tech disruption can work, but it has to be very well because shields are protecting on all ends. And out from above, it's something you actually don't to dive in at all here. It's why they're going to jump straight in, but the shadow oh. comes out of fusions, catches everyone. This could be a real melting. Well, you knock him down, and Craggy finishes the job. A great earth shatter in from fusions. This is looking dire for Fusion University. I don't think they took a class in dealing with Omnic Crisis 2.0. Definitely a crisis of a new variety of field. The Arista at the helm with the Bastion following in. The only thing they feel like they're missing really here is the Zen. But they want all that focus healing coming out of the Mercy. They've even got the Valkyrie online. And every single member of Hurricane is on fire right now. Bar Crusade. But you can see exactly how this is going. Early bear out here for Fusion University. Trying to derail the ship. Trying to send it to the Abyss. It was blocked down early. It's looking good. But Craggy no! not able to get to the tank. Elk has had enough. Takes him down, the power of sound. Who are you gonna dash on through? At Fusion University, finally put an end to the piracy in our time. Clamp down, follow the law, they say, as they come down hard on these miscreants. And British Hurricane look like they're gonna switch off now as well. Get Kip going across to the Genji. Gonna try and match the competition coming out of Fusion. And I gotta say, that hasn't worked out too well historically, but I'm willing to give it a chance. Well, this is a good change of momentum here for Fusion because British Hurricane, they had to sacrifice most of their ult building to do this full swap up. So this next fight, much more likely go well in their favor as who are you dives on in the blade is out he knows how much you deal with it but oh kim takes about the flip side who are you might have gone a little bit too deep an opportunity for british hurricane even as they're very very low fusion was able to finish them off they lost beast halo and suddenly my man popped the other day the hurricane was so close to dead and yet they're not Quite surprised you haven't seen any Widow play coming out of both sides. In fact, the EU guys are coming across to try and match Fusion and say, hey, we'll play your style of play, we'll give you a chance in this one, and we'll see how you fare up against our dive. And it feels like here on Junkertown, ideally enough, the British Hurricane home, they are showing them how to play. And they're just going to keep this ride on going, and if it's a last ride, it is a good one. Four minutes and nine seconds left for the Hurricane. Plenty of time to work with here in Junkertown. Now going to switch across to the Anna now as well. Those longer sight ranges coming through on the third and final point of Junkertown. Definitely very beneficial to playing on the Anna. But Box for now is going to stick it out on the Zen. They need that Discord orb to burn through the tanks of Fusion University. British Hurricane looking to continue their momentum here. Fusion University doesn't have too much to work with, but they can just buy a little bit of time for Alarm and move in with the Transcend. That's likely the play they're looking for here. Zachary, no chill whatsoever. Looking for Zen in the back. Can't finish the job. Ends up having the rewind, but Kim down. Fight back and forth, but Bach, he's got to heal back up. The fact that the kill wasn't finished could be big because now he can come in with a transcendence of his own. Alarm gonna use his transcendence first, but now look to Bach. Does he invest? He does. Both said, Yeah, he's gonna pass it to the Iris. This could be good for Fusion here because British Hurricane, I'm not sure if they're ready to set up. Here comes Kim though, laid out to the other side. Does he have targets here inside? No, he does not. He ends up falling to who are you? Fusion University managed to detract them and still keep hold of several ultimates. They've even got that Nano Blade combo if they wish to make use of Beast Halo goes down. This is the time for who are you to pull out that blaze? Play it out. Who are you going? I'm tank hunting. Slices through a scientist with a side of Korean War mech, but can't chase it down. Not fishing his plate. Not the heaviest eater as it turns out. The Hurricane gonna get some payload progress as a result. It's a bit weird because Halo, Beast Halo died once again with that Primal Range. It seems to be becoming a, a recurring theme throughout this series. We've seen it happen quite a few times now. But Zachary managed to pick up Kibbis. He goes a little bit too deep. And this might just reset Hurricane once again. Elk again with the beautiful Bionate to the other side. Four kills for the Fusion University. And they will hold the Hurricane back. Maybe did a little bit of storm prep this time around. Seems they came with their raincoats and their umbrellas ready to deal with whatever the Hurricane is going to be throwing at them. It does feel for the Hurricane, they're trying to match what Fusion University are throwing at them. And we have to concede, it feels they may have a little bit of a better grasp on what's going on in this whole dive setup. But so much of that, it feels like, goes down to Elk on the Ana. This guy is a machine. And he didn't always play this regular season. I mean, he was always good, but here on live, he's been great. Meanwhile, Zachary, under assault here, 52 HP. Going to go back, heal on up. Meanwhile, Crusade a little bit deep. Beast Halo punches him. We're just walking Zachary's adventure here. He's on a ride. Meanwhile, Fusion winning the fight on the other side. Finally, the end destination. A little bit of a stick to Fusions to end the fight. Managed to get, can keep on getting into the bat line here. It feels like Hurricane aren't necessarily quick enough to adapt and deal with the aggression coming out of Fusion University. Zachary definitely showing up as well. There's been a lot of talk around who are you and Alarm, but this guy is on fire alongside the likes of Elk. You can really see this team showing what they're made of here. Meanwhile, Fusion, they've been able to restabilize. Uh, to your point, you look at them here, almost every ult about to be up. You have a blade from Who Are You, you got the Transcends from Alarm, First Hurricane, 
They're pushing the objective now, but you see Beast Hell going off the side, but he's under assault here, has the Primal Rage early. That's a good get, but Pock is already down. Still trying to find their way back into this point, and Elk has got yeah. such a beautiful long sight range here as well. Might have to use a nano boost onto someone to make sure they can hold this point out as Hurricane Fusions has invested that Primal Rage, but he's so close to going down. But we're looking towards that Transcendence, which does not get pulled out to keep him alive, and there is 60 seconds. Oh, he got the sleep! He tagged him in the back! What a play by Elk! Beast Halo stomps him on right over. We just saw a little bit about that, but that was fantastic. 45 seconds left now in the map. They've even got the Blade and available. They've got the Transcendence. They've got the Nano Boost. They've got essentially everything except for the Primal Rage on Beast Halo. But Hurricane equally have been stockpiling their own war chest. They have four ultimates to bring out. They will not have either of the Primal Rages available just yet in this fight, but it may turn out to be there in the latter stages. Elk holding in the back. And now he's going to have to use the Snap Boost. Zachary's down early. You got Compensate. It goes to where are you? That's the way Compensate. A Nano Blade moving on in with a little bit of explosion on the side. Now, uh oh. When uh, Senyata beats a Genji, and who are you goes in, and it's Kim over the top. Gets who are you in time, but the push still very disruptive here for the Hurricane. Yeah, it's not like it's about to go out of his mech as well, so he won't have that available in this fight if he gets picked off. This might actually be Hurricane turning this one around. Hurricane desperately fighting here. Both teams going in, and Fusion still in the mode of stabilization. Hurricane pushing it over, but they have it enough. They can contest this one last time. And here's the blade on the other end. Kim. Moving on in, gets Elk, gets rid of the threat. No sleep dart this time as the Hurricane look to make this fight their own. Kid with a really nice blade to start off. Three kills to his name, and the Hurricane finish it off at the very end. Well, there we go. Now we know what's expected of Fusion Universe. They need to complete to be able to match Hurricane and forces into another round and bring us towards that fabled fifth map. Got to say ZP at halftime, definitely didn't look like we were going to go all the way to that fifth map. But with how Fusion have definitely stepped up and started to bring the pain to Hurricane, things are looking a lot closer. I like to think that uh, Papa Jeff at some point donned a wizard hat and just cast a curse on Fusion and said, never will you win a series unless it goes to five. You will be forever linked with the number five. It was a big involved ritual and look, it just might be the reality. Were you present for the ritual? Did you have to donate some of your blood to it, maybe? Just to say, it's even the caster curse now. Maybe it's only when you cast them this happens. I don't want to talk about all the things I had to donate there. I might be down a kidney <laughs> right now. You Why do I do that? that? I have no idea. I mean, it just said, do I be involved in this cool thing this Saturday? Yeah, let's go. And then you don't remember anything else? No. One thing you might remember is if we do get to that fifth map, if Fusion take it away and go back home with the, should we call it the unofficial crown of best team in contenders? I think absolutely. I think right now Fusion has definitely woken up. Maybe there was something to the idea perhaps early on where they were getting off of that high where they had won everything and then had to come back up. But we've seen the level of play from Fusion certainly rise up as the series has gone on. I would love to see here Fusion University really live up to their namesake and be treating life itself as a lesson. Because as it stands, they are essentially mimicking the comp we saw just a second ago out of British Hurricane for that first point. But you know what? Hurricane are matching it like for like. They're bringing out their own Bastion on defense with Kid playing on the Orissa. What a world we live in. Bastion in 2018. Junkertown never change. They are clearly taking the word tank a little bit too seriously here when they're picking up this Bastion. It's not quite a quad tank, but it is a tank of its own once it transforms into that tank formation. Look, thematical correctness is still totally fine. You don't have to take everything at literal face value. It's fine. Well, let's see how they choose to opt this one out. Curious to see what Who Are You will change away to, or if they'll just stick out this hands when they try and go for some combos. I expect it to switch away to try and join in with this all-in on the Bastion setup they've opted for so far. And Hurricane have got themselves definitely fortified in here on this high grounds. And they're just sort of taunting Fusion going, yeah, get back on your cute little ship. We have the cannons here docked port side. See if you can move on in as Craggy letting loose here with that Bastion fire. Can reload here in a second, but Beast Halo taking an awful lot of damage there in the moment. We'll see if he can get healed up. But the Fusion University, they're in trouble leaving port. Still trying to get hold of Zachary as well. It's not the two Bastions trying to face off and find each other. It looks like Zachary's going to get melted down, and Craggy will win this and brings out the tank formation. Early tank coming up. Zachary might be back in play, but he might wish he wasn't. Staring down the barrel of a tank as Craggy continues to lay it on. Meanwhile, you had a dragon out from Who Are You, a very early dragon, but doesn't do too much as Craggy gets on the other team's payload. Oh, yeah, you, you earned the right to talk. There's no passive healing up that's ava available on the fray, Craggy, but it's still definitely sending a message. Oh no. They're saying, we want oh. this, and who are you? He's all alone at the back. Battle Bastion versus Hanzo. Hanzo, you don't have your buffs yet. Meanwhile, the Coalescence on the other side just melts down Zachary. The Hurricane 
playing the Spash and Comp way better, Fusion probably about the swap. All about the dive. It seems to be the go-to answer for Fusion every time they want to win. I'm kind of say if you're trying to balance up the subtle number of comps we have in the game and who can play them better, it feels like we're slightly in the lead here, ZP. Right now, the Hurricane are showing great versatility, and the Fusion, in their attempts to mimic it, didn't quite work out as Zachary almost gets deleted by half a cool. Gonna have to rewind out under pressure, but it buys time for Beast Hail and Who Are You, who dive on into this mass, and Who Are You's immediately dispatched. Didn't work out. Just spray and hope for the best. It seems to be the answer when everyone is clowning in front of you, just trying to hide you away between those large tank models in the game. And then Fraggy goes super low, finally gets himself dropped. Payload has been winning this entire time. Zachary just slowly pushing it, you know, panting as he goes. Fraggy brought back up there for quick death. Who are you back into the fray? Dashing in, getting plenty of dash yards. Oh, the style on the other side gets Craggy with that soft touch pulse bomb. Zachary making the way, pushes the payload, he kills the Bastion, and he flanks the tanks. Let's go. With no Bastion, there is no big damage coming out of the side of Hurricane here. They might find themselves pushed back. Oh, great dodge for the shutter. Zachary actually just channeling Ultra Instinct right now, dodging everything. His hair has gone white. He's definitely popping off, and that's what you want to be able to pull your team through to at least the first point. He's even getting the back line 3 HP and still manages to make it away. Gets the stick on the other end. This is one of the best rounds of Tracer, like best minute of Tracer you could ask for. What a play by Zachary. Gonna do a little bit more. Fusion looking to point B. And they finally get themselves there. It would have been a shame if it ended at that first point there. Not able to breach through this Bastion setup coming out of Hurricane. But they equally are going to change things back up. They're going back over to Sunbracer. All right. Change-ups are in play. Fusion still alive. A long way to go for this payload. Three minutes and 20 seconds through second. Zachary, we look to him right now as he has been playing out of his mind. Crack Wacken, though, d back to not much you can do about that. Fusion going to take a little bit of retreat, a reprieve to the payload. Hover his way back over, and this is where we start to see the real metal of Fusion being tested, is can they push through the second point now that Hurricane has changed it up? It's like a gauntlet where you have a different obstacle to face every single time in the form of a different comp, and so far, they are making it work. Who are you dashing out of the rafters? Gets Crusade as Beast Halo goes ape into the back lines, gets a triple kill. Beast Halo coming in style, set up by the rest of his team. Hurricane getting wiped out there, giving Fusion a lot of time to push forward. They've even got the Transcendence on alarms. They could go for that aggressive transit they wanted to here and force their way into the bat line of Hurricane, whereas they don't really have anything to stop this yet. Kip is getting closer to that EMP, but it won't be available at the start of this fight to really shut down University before they get rolling. Fusion, plenty of uncontested payload here. Grizz Hurricane will have that one attempt. They're going to move in with the Valkyrie. The self-destruct token gets one, and it does! It gets Elk! No more valuable person to get off the self-destruct, but Fusions was too deep. Alarm counters of the Transcend, and a little bit of boom of their own comes in from Fusion as they take the fight right back, and it doesn't matter that they lost Elk. The rest of the team still very po powerful in the moment. Half the cool, almost getting d -macked. and now he is. Pulse Bomb out, finishes him off, and Zachary is in play once more. Zachary is popping off on this Tracer, and to be honest, you think a Tracer plays is not a name I think of, but definitely showing that he should be considered. And who are you reminding us just what he can do with Genji, tearing through most of Hurricane, but there are kills being traded back and forth to each side. He might be hacked, but he doesn't care. He goes, I can still throw shurikens. This is totally fine. Already at another 21%. Point B has been taken. Three minutes left for Fusion to bring this to the end. And Hurricane hold on here and, and delay Fusion University or we find ourselves going into the overtime and that fabled fifth map. That would be destiny. That has been Fusion's destiny all contenders long. Why would we change now? Living the American dream, you might say, in some cases, ZP. But now they find themselves pushing in towards that first corner. That's when we're going to start being the real contest coming through. Who are you gets hacked? He's incredibly low, but is kept alive by his team. Zachary with that early pickoff sets the stage for Fusion here. Looking for more. Get one support, but why not pick up the pair? On the block right now. Needs one more clip. Gets him down. And hey, who's going to be your lifeline, British Hurricane? Because Zachary has shut him down. Trying to find the way into this one, but it feels for Hurricane, like you say, they're being hard shut down by University. Just showing their prowess on these dive phase compositions. And Hurricane really struggling to find their feet so far. Hurricane has been off target ever since the very beginning. Another post by by Zachary. Not quite going to connect this time, but look at all the progress Fusion has gotten. They're one fight away. And with two minutes on the clock, it feels like it could be their time. Box got hold of that Transcendence. So they have the defensive capabilities if required. But Who Are You has just got that blade online, and Elk is getting very close to that nano boost. Who Are You with the blade early? Slices through the tanks. 
Transcend, gonna ruin his day a little bit. He has to wait. Doesn't go over the Pulse Bomb. Just waiting and waiting, but now he gets to go in. Look to fish out the Baby Diva. Dives to the supports. Lucio into sight. And the dive continues to move in from Fusion as the Hurricane is getting blown back. Now that boosted Tracer, not one of the things I thought I would have seen today, but with how Zachary is performing, I do not blame them at all. They've only got a few minutes to go. Fusion might beat out Hurricane here on Junker Town, their own map. Zachary not gonna cut that pulse bump, but still has Bach in the sights. Bach in the ball, Beast Halo finishing off. The tanks of Fusion smothering the Hurricane here. A minute 12 left, and they're gonna have a vastly superior time bank as we go into extra rounds. We've got to see something special come out of British Hurricane here. I don't want to say it's going to be Quad Tank. It might be Bastion once again. Just something to hold Fusion at bay because they've got a lot more time in the bank than what Hurricane do on this push. But first and foremost, let's see exactly how Hurricane can make this work, what their answer is on their push. First time round, it went pretty smoothly. It looks like they're going to opt maybe once again for the Bastion, bring it out to the fore, and we saw what that could do last time. It could do quite a lot. This is a little bit risky, though. I feel like these strategies do not quite have a shelf life that goes beyond one push. Fusion has a better idea of what to expect here and what went wrong the first time. And in fact, they know, British Hurricane knows that Fusion knows, and they might not be trying to go to that same well again. Possibly. I would like to see them run with Elk on this Ana because we've seen huge Biotic Grenades out of this guy today. And the best way to shut down a Bastion is once those shields are down, you just slip in a cheeky little Biotic Grenade. The healing is denied and he disappears incredibly quickly despite that 300 HP. That might be just what they're looking for here. And of course, if you take a look at the British Hurricane setup, they are going to be going a little bit more standard where it's still going to be very tank heavy. They'll put half a cool on Hanzo, one of his flex heroes that has been good on the DPS end. Meanwhile, for Fusion University, that's a May. It's a May. We spoke to a number of teams over the last few days and said, is there any surprises that you've got up your sleeves? The things that you're going to maybe bring out, we won't reveal just yet, but I feel quite safe in saying this. A number of them said May was a consideration for some of their DPS picks. We saw it on Horizon Luna Colony in the final earlier today. And look, with Zachary's apparent ability to see the future, as we saw in the beginning of the last map, maybe he can make this May work. Not the easiest thing to do here, but you're not expecting to get frozen out. This wall can split a team and work against the Bastion here. When the Bastion is up, the dive is coming in, and they got the sleep early on and put the Orisa up. They almost sniped down the Orisa off that wall. That was incredible, but did not quite work out. However, Crusade is down. Elk is more DPS than healer here, but it's half a cool and craggy. Well protected, bowing down fusion. They almost stopped it, but it's almost is not enough. Almost, despite both healers going down, Craggy is still managed to stay on the point here, and they are pushing in towards this first point. If they manage to get that, they are in such a great advantage. Zachary is gone. This is going to be fusion on the stagger, and they can make this work. Craggy is super close to this tank formation, too. Three seconds left with the second point well inside Zachary. Give a stick on the bank. See if they can push it towards this one. You know there's going to be a contest here, because Fusion know if they stop them here, then it's going to be so difficult for them to push and get through on towards that second point. Otherwise, they're in for a world of hurt. Here comes the tank formation once again. Tank looking for alarm. Takes him right out, right on the side. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh, up. He's a man. He's fighting the tank, and he Anyone? got up. Oh my god. I don't care if he died there. That, that was the essence of worth. Crack is going to be sitting here now saying, it's not alarm I've got to worry about. That's what he said to us in the interviews. Now I'm worried about Elk. <laughs> These supports on Fusion University are insane. Who would have thought that a tank would fear a 60-year-old woman just running at it? Uh, you know, <laughs> just Hunter is like, I got you. And he did. But you look at Zachary. Winter is coming. The blizzard is up. He's looking to just drop this on top of them. Waiting. Patience is important. Drops the wall, brings them on the top. That's how you isolate the Bastion here. Craggy, frozen on out. The self-destruct, though, isolates who are you. There's the Blizzard. This is so smart from Zachary here, and it works out. But for how long? Not long, it would appear, as they're starting to lose members with Beast. Halo brings down Fusions. They have the res available to bring him back in, but it looks like a large transcendence is going to be the call to action for Fusion University. Bionate to the back. Your healing's gone. Beast Halo coming back on the other side, looking to finish off Arisa. Here's he going to do it. Kim, still alive. Blair came in last moment, but no, it's not enough. The Blade sweeping its way through. Overtime likely to end right here. Absolutely. Well, it's six down and a very valiant effort coming out of the Hurricane. But now we get to see what Fusion University can do. Can Hurricane hold them on that first point like they did for so long with the Bastion set up last time? Or do we see them push all the way through and take us into that map five? I think no matter what, this is going to end in overtime. That went long enough that even with the time bank advantage, it doesn't amount to that much aside from being a little bit of buffer for a rough start. Either way, this is going to end in overtime 
at this point, either a victory for the Fusion and thus a map five for which it seems nothing but destined for the Hurricane taking the title for EU. Taking the title of one last ride because they're rocking out with this quad tank once again. It's been bastion pretty much all maps so far, but this time they're saying if this really is our last defense, we want to do it the EU way, and they're going to bring out that fabled setup. Kib, once again on the Roadhog, we saw Craggy playing it a little bit earlier on, and now they're going back to the boy himself who was landing so many great hooks on Ilios. Why wouldn't you go back to this? Seconds. Fusion so far has had a real difficulty actually dealing with this in the moment, and thus the Hurricane. They're going to go to the well once more. I'm curious to see how this stacks up because we spoke quite a lot, especially before the broadcast. We've had a bit of banter back and forth all weekend between all the casters sat outside in one of the other rooms. And we've been saying for the longest time, Quad Tank, it does not stack up against this level of dive. And there's been a kind of a bit of a mix throughout this game so far, throughout the series where in some cases it's won. In some cases it's lost. This is the final one potentially that matters in this final fight on Junkertown. And you hear the crowd, they're pumped. They want this to be a hurricane defense here. We'll see if that's going to be the case as a fusion now. Look to move on in and oh, sneakiness in and around the side. Here come the tanks. Who says tanks can't die? But half a cool. Eating a whole lot of damage early on. The D-Mech comes on in and it's trades. But trades quite good for the offense in this position. They're going to be able to run back over. Elk was able to retreat to a very safe position in the back. And Kip is getting flanked on all ends as a hurricane. Try and back up and restabilize. They might do just that. It's very dangerous to just sit in front of those spawn doors because essentially you can have the enemy shooting at you from within them. But they're still fighting this close. They're trying to go for the full hold again to burn that cock down as best they can. And Fusion, they're trying to evict the quad tanks here while still pushing the payload. You see Zachary isn't participating in the fight as much as he would because his goal here is get the payload for it. Make the fight change. But he gets caught by a straight fire strike. Hurricane making the stand pretty good, but now who are you with momentum? Dash resets, a blade and cleanup on the way as Elk sets the stage. Who are you? Knocks it right down. Going huge. Elk and who are you coming together to show us what they're made of? With one minute left on the clock, they finally break that full hold and they are on the way towards this point. But Craggy has got hold of that Graviton Surge. There is almost signs of that Earth Shadow coming online as well. They have the tools to hold them here, but they've got to do it for 45 seconds. What cleanup there where you get the bio made set up and who are you goes, yeah, I'm going to dash back in. But the fight underway right now. The EMP coming out here in the moment. No, not an EMP, but you see, who are you? Down early on and the self-destruct on the top. Crack Lacken trying to make a little bit of room. And the fight engagement not quite as good for Fusion here in the moment as the Hurricane able to resolidify here. And the, Hurricane, the University, they're down there about 15 seconds. The Hurricane on the verge of the EU Championship. They've got the stagger underway as well. Beast Halo went down there with 15 seconds on the clock. He will be late to this next fight. He's late to his own graduation. This is an even bigger stagger. The grab surge is huge. It brings down alarm. It brings down who are you? Hurricane may have done it here. They might have done it, and they yes, did. They that is excitement coming from you, Des, but well deserved. The Hurricane take the bragging rights between the regions. They win here on Junkertown and Fusion. They're no longer best friends with the number five. You can't currently see this on camera, but there are tears rolling down ZP's cheeks. All weekend he has said, this is it, we can deal with Quad Tank, but it turns out it's not quite to be. Well played by the boys on both sides, you have to say. Fusion University in their own right, showing us how dive should be placed. They put on a show, there's no doubt about it, but you're wrong on one thing. What is dead may never die, and I can't cry tears if there's no tears to cry. <laughs> well, you've always got the hope of next time around when we play, and I'm pretty sure respect between these players. They spoke a lot, they've seen a lot of each other in the players' area over the last few days. And to be honest with you, it's so scary seeing some of the talent on this team as well, from both sides, both equally terrifying. I do have some bad news for you. What's that then? Which is that uh, we're a little bit petty on the NA side. We're going to have to take back the box. <laughs> <laughs> you want the box back? Well, we can wait till that's on camera, and I will give it back to you in almost an apology and say at least here's something you can take home because your team's going home empty-handed, bar the NA title, of course. At least we can bring the box back where it belongs. <laughs> that, that's really the important thing right here. I mean, we we're going to take it back anyways, but... Now, now I can be just a little bit spiteful. You guys need it, I feel, in many ways, because, well, at this point, something again just to get you back on that box and just feel a little bit high and mighty until you're reminded that EU is a thing. I mean, I'm going to stand on the box and just uh, think dreams of if this match had gone a different way. I'll tell you what, then. Here you go, ZP. This is your prize. You may have back the box. Excellent. This is what I always wanted here, a box to stand on. We'll return this to Matt. 
and I will continue feeling sad. But it can be a trophy of some description for you guys at the very least. Commiserations, but fair play. Well played. Well, guys, that's going to be about wrapping us up for here, but it was a good competition. It was good fun. I think we all had a bit of laugh, and it's a great way to end out what's been a fantastic weekend as well. Both deserving champions in their own rights, and what's more to say, I'm pretty sure the desk have got something to say about that one. Yeah, I mean, I'm going to say that Trid, uh, you can't think about what to look at here. It could be a lot of bragging. A lot of bragging. Oh, also bragging. Yeah, I can find some earplugs if you really want earplugs, so make sure you haven't got to listen to this. I mean, you, the earplugs would have to kind of gouge up my eardrums because it's going to be <laughs> loud. It's never going to be fun. But this guy's got a big mouth. He's got a big heart. He's got a lot of love for Hurricane, a lot of love for Gigancy, all the teams that have been here this weekend. What more can you say? It's been a great competition all around. It's good for EU to get this attention as well. Both regions have played phenomenally well over the course of the season. And at the end, the goal is elevate players, have some good games. Absolutely, and I look forward to seeing what happens in the next matchup. Again, maybe we start seeing some magic where you guys start playing tank-based composition. Maybe we switch to playing full dive. Who knows? Time will tell. All right, guys. Well, that wraps up for us. We're thrown to the desk for some well-earned celebration. Ngu European. And what that means is it's Zulu for I am European. Because <laughs> I am, and we just won the show match. What an I concede. I concede. You guys played well today. British Hurricane were just so fantastic. Stay Here's the tank angry. train coming along. There we go. We've even got all the players involved. We even have some North American players who've jumped ship as well. He's originally from Portugal, though. So, uh, you know, still EU at heart. Gray there. <laughs> Well-deserved victory, guys. Well-deserved. Absolutely. I'm so happy with this moment. And, you know, it's really a lot of it's on the fact that <clears throat> EU has come out here. They've shown that they clearly are the dominant European region, the dominant contenders region when it comes to versus NA. And I'd love to relish in this opportunity a little bit. I can even taste it. It's so palpable. It's, it's so vivid to me <laughs> that EU have beaten NA. And quite frankly, ZP, where was the junk rat? Where was it? You said it would happen. On that though, we've got some highlights and I want to show you and I'm going to point out something. Every single North American team that we chatted to said, oh, their answer to Quad Tank is Junk Rat. Uh, I think that the answer to Quad Tank is Elk on Anna and maybe we should pay some attention to that. Elk was absolutely fantastic, especially on that Anna. The positioning we saw here, particularly um, when we were, of course, on Horizon, he just held that defense for them, kept this alive. And we even got to see during Junkertown, he had some great holds, those biotic nades coming in time and again to shut down these pushes from British Hurricane. Hey, even I can admit, Elk was absolutely phenomenal this series. You you can see why he's getting all that praise from the North American season, and he really was an MVP and a standout player for Fusion University. But we do need to focus on the champions, yeah? British Hurricane, what superstars? They bought our quad tank because they had a point to prove, and I think that they proved it. Oh yeah, indeed, and the point was, well, quad tank definitely works. NA definitely did forget that Junkrat does exist, <laughs> but it didn't even matter. Even all the tricks that were thrown at them, British Hurricane just withheld it, right? We had the May coming out, and they were able to weather the blizzard and survive that onto victory. Hey, when, Qua when Quad Tank didn't work, they just brought out Captain Kenzie and his pirate ship. Not Captain Kenzie, Captain Craggy and his pirate ship. It was absolutely fantastic, and, and you know, Junkrat may not have existed, but Sombracer did provide that fantastic defense to Quad Tank. It was standing out, and it was stemming the flow of what is usually an unstoppable force. Talking about unstoppable forces, I have Haffy Cool next to me from British Hurricane. That must, it's the worst question because I know that you're feeling really, really great, but what was it that they couldn't answer other than the quad tank? Um, the only thing they could answer was our Genji Dao thing. I think our Sombra Dao was really good against them, but we wanted to play quad tank just to pro point a lot, like Numbani first wanted to play quad tank because uh, CP's been whining for like a week straight. <laughs> so, uh, but DP, yeah. you bought this on yourself. It's it's straight from the mouth of Happy Cool. You bought this one on yourself then. CP? Yes. Yeah, of course. I mean, <laughs> he always hates EU. He always thinks EU is the worst reason. But I think we proved that uh, EU is just better now. EU is better until season two. Who were your MVPs in your team for, for this game? Uh, I think I would have to say Craigie, because uh, we were really tired and uh, he was the one getting the hype up back. We didn't have any energy drinks left, so uh, we were super tired, but he got us up, all hyped up again. So. Well done. You are not only the European champions, but you now get to say that you are the Atlantic Showdown champions. You have made the European broadcast team and everyone here in the audience very, very proud. 
British Hurricane, your season one European champs, and now the champs over North America as well. I'm so sorry, Jameson and ZP, but I'm gonna milk this for as long as I can. This was the Overwatch Contenders season one finals for Europe and North America. We've seen British Hurricane show their dominance in Europe, and we've seen Fusion University take that North American title. And I'm just gonna drop this one more time. The better region as well, of course, winning that show match. It was, of course, British Hurricane from Europe. From myself and every single one of the broadcast team, thank you so much for watching, and we will be back for season two. So we'll see you then.